Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Welcome to Trailer Boys! <laughs> I know, I know, I messed it up. I'm gonna have to move everybody around a bit. Uh, there we go. Nope, almost. There, and, and, there we go. Finally, we did it. No, no, yeah, it's, we, yeah, we moved everything around when we changed the zoom up really quick. <laughs> no! Uh, <laughs> why? I'll we'll have to rearrange the, the, the scene all over again. <laughs> God damn you. Uh, yeah, he's here. He's here. We're good. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Trailer Boys. This is the show where we... we... Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we tried something a little different this time around where we 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 did uh some stuff before the show that we usually do within the first hour so maybe we're ahead of the game <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I can't tell now either. No, wait. They can hear me. God damn it. After all this. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on one sec. Hold on one sec. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. I don't know. You have to All speak. right. Yay! Welcome to Trailer Boys, everybody. Uh, but now Sam's not on screen. Oh, there he is. Okay, so if you can hear me, say, Timmy, you're muted. We're going to pretend like that didn't happen. We're going to be like, welcome to Trailer Boys, everybody! <laughs> where the show just started now. If you're watching oh this on God. YouTube, the show just started now. Nothing's been happening before right now. Definitely didn't miss shit. Yes, we're all going. How is it going, Timmy and Sam? I am watching the Chainsaw Awards on another window, and I don't know. Every time I go back, they're doing bits. So I don't hey, know if bits. I can keep... Oh, dude. Too fucking, many bits. Yeah. Too many well, you bits. know, I think we were talking about it last night. It's like, if, when you do bits, you don't want to see bits. It's like, dude, it's like fucking doing homework. You know? <laughs> bits be homework. Are yo, bits, are bits yo ladies, bits be homework. <laughs> are bits and skits very similar or no? I think bits is fine. Skits is a terrible word. I wish people. I was just watching some of our old Trailer Boys episodes that I think, I think it was the one with just me and Sam doing reimaginings. That we, or maybe it was la the last time. Anyways, one of the times recently we finally got into the whole skits conversation, which we've had privately but never had publicly, and which is. Skits is silly. Timmy, tell us what you said when you were muted. I was, uh, everything I said when I was muted was I was saying how much I didn't like Fun 91. So it's weird that you asked. <laughs> it's weird that you would tell them. That, <laughs> exactly. That's, that's so true. And um, uh, this. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I was saying we, we, we did some stuff before the show started that we normally do within the first hour of the show. So we're a little ahead of the game. Mm. Yeah. That was my joke. Wait, um, the, uh, like, where we like dick measurements? Do we normally do that on camera? Yeah, where we true. dump them out. <laughs> Abby Sally says, is Sam okay? Um, yeah. Sam was like having some audio him. things, but I think we okay. got it. And then I also messed up audio things. So everyone everyone gets to do it today. Um, we're going to find another way to find out who wins these awards because I don't want to watch this show when we're trying to watch trailers. I got AIDS. I was going to be fine with that if it was an award show. What is it? But, well, it's an award show, but they're, you know, it's like pre, a lot of it's like pre taped and stuff. And so it's like there's bits. I don't want to, like little skits. <laughs> Our friend Jonah's presenting, isn't he? Jonah is, yes. Zach's up for some awards, but I don't like. He says he didn't get invited to anything, so he doesn't think he won. I don't think that's how that works, so I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Jonah's presenting. I feel like there's someone else we know presenting. But they just call sure. you up and go, "You won." I don't know. I mean, one year when I watched it, it was during COVID and pre-taped, so like they had mailed them the awards and had like little videos, you know, that they had shot. But I don't know. I just want to find like a, uh, what you call it, like a Twitter feed that's, that's you know saying who wins stuff. I bet if I do that, there we go. Yeah, it's, it's been a while really since we've done the show, day. guys. Two weeks. Yeah. I was just watching uh, old episodes. The last one was on the seventh, so yeah, two weeks ago. We actually are caught up on YouTube VODs, so if anybody Hell uh, yeah. you know, is like, you know what, I wish I could see all the shows, well, now you can, because we're up to date. Booyah so, uh, yeah. it's, uh It's, it's been, uh, been a real one, so, you know, uh, it's been a couple. I think the G-rated one was funnier than I thought it would be. Um, yes, I, uh... I think you probably cut too much out of it. What? What? Did you cut out the beginning of it? <laughs> they don't know, Timmy. <laughs> well, a lot of them do because they were here. Yeah, I, I, yeah, so I cut you, out. Of like, course, they do. That that the heavy beginning part of it. Um, I don't remember. Was it? Did we? Did I yell at you or something? Possibly. I mean, probably. We were possibly but... fighting. <laughs> were we? I don't remember that. <laughs> And we were possibly way. I off know track. we had this thing where Sam like did his whole anime tantrum and left, but that wasn't real. Oh, I don't at the think. end, yeah. I don't that was think super funny. My was thoughts that? about Studio uh, Ghibli are real. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, right, but you were like yeah. yelling at a Studio left. Ghibli, my balls. Uh, yeah. Oh damn. Oh, also, it was funny with that episode is like uh, uh, Nathan Barnett. Uh, dad bot rated and Timmy was like you just seemed very uninterested and well angry. no that was fine I love that we got rated but then you guys went on that whole thing about talking about warrior for like 15 minutes and I was like what are we doing right now that's when yeah. the gummy kicked in and yeah. then after Sam left the gummy kicked in and then everything was kosher <laughs> So, yeah. It was uh, a fun episode, I, though. It was funnier than I thought it would be. Well, I watched um, a bunch of it tonight, and it was great, or earlier today, and it was good. And I also watched part of the one before that with me and Sam doing, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, reimaginings. <clears throat> Imaginings was good. That was a good yeah, I'm, I'm I'm bummed I missed that episode because that was, that was pretty fun. Uh, G rated, uh, a lot videos. of people uh, got a little too. Um, Oh, I don't know what you call it. There's a word on the tip of my tongue, but everybody was like, well, this is unrated, not G-rated. It's like, it's a kid's yeah. movie. You know what I mean? They, we, they got into the weeds. You know? Yes, there's a good way to say it. Uh, what uh, Are people going to do that about fantasy? Like, unless there's like flowing wizard robes and lightning hands in every uh, trailer, You're people are going like, to get mad? Last night is historical fiction, not <laughs> fantasy. What's the other one they say? Speculative fiction? <laughs> it's like the people that call like Jordan Peele horror movies elevated yeah. thrillers. Thank you, Principal Rose. Uh, the, yeah. Pedantic is, is the is the word. What is pedantic? Oh pedantic, yeah, good word. I too quiet for you guys? No, I can hear you fine. Okay. Um 
Did we, uh, where are we at? Do you want to do We have not introduced the show, the show yet. Yeah, okay. we're at the explaining right, the show so, phase. Hey. hey, everyone. Welcome to Trailer Boys. This is a show where we watch movie trailers. Hey. Movie trailers, trailers. But we don't come up with the movie trails, trailers for you to watch. You submit them. And you don't just submit any movie trailers. You submit movie trailers that are that fit a theme, a specific theme. You don't just go, hey, I feel like watching the trailer for Junior. You have to, uh, and then submit that. You have to wait until we do Pregnant Men as a theme. And then you submit Junior. Which, uh, by the way... Uh, did you think that would be a good theme? Is that what you were going to come? No, no, that's all I was going to say. Is by the way, just to make it seem like I was going to, uh, but no, it's a terrible theme because I think that's. Oh, <laughs> there you are. Yeah. Well, there was a movie called The Baby from the seventies, but that's a guy, an adult man, being forced by his mother to still be a baby. So. Hmm. Uh, that's like a horror film. Mm -hmm. Horror films, it right? It's a horror <laughs> film. Horror horror films uh so how you submit also let me just say that is you go to a website that is uh where is it is it above me is it below me it's above me uh miseryloves.us and there's a whole submission form you, you copy a link from uh youtube you just put it in you put some comments down it's great um and then after we watch the trailer we the hosts give points on it we say hey this is worth this many points to me this was good i'll give it one point this was great i'll give it two points and you the audience get to decide yay or nay and based on the percentage of you that vote yes that gets between one and four points uh oh god now there's a graphic in front of sam nate come on uh, he's explaining the points i know i'm just kidding <laughs> uh, points go zero to 25 or zero points zero 25 yes uh 25 to 50 are one point uh 25 or 50 to 75 two points 75 to 99 three points and if you get 100 percent, that's a four point trailer from the audience on top Ooh. of whatever we give it. And then at the end of the show, we vote on the best of the best. <laughs> and then the person that wins all that uh, wins one night, uh, no holds barred, uh, with each one of us in our respective cities. <laughs> As we call I, it. Don't, I don't like that the guy in their relationship decided the two single guys now have to. I mean, I'm in. I'm in. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it too. I'm just saying I don't like it. In heaven. Uh, <laughs> well, how much in heaven? With twelve hours in heaven. But you have to eat my ass. Yeah. Well, it's twelve hours in heaven. Uh, one hour in hell. <laughs> eleven mi Eleven hours and forty-five minutes in heaven. <laughs> uh, Fifteen minutes of tossing my salad. Yeah. No I'm holes sure. Barred. <laughs> Listen, I don't oh, no holes barred. No holes barred. Uh, <laughs> I don't uh, want to sound like an egomaniac, but I mean, I feel like there's at least a, a decent chance someone has. I was just going to say, holy shit, man. I was going to say, I feel like there's a good chance someone's drawing my butthole. But yeah, you guys all drew my butthole once on camera. So never mind. Ugh. There's a 100% there's a chance that's happened. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, so, so anyways, that's you, how the show works. So tonight's theme is fantasy. Well, considering we also have had not the coolest start to the audio here, mm -hmm. uh, why don't we watch the winner of last show, and then we could fix the audio on the fly. <laughs> I, don't I don't even know. remember who won. Oh, yes, well, I do. I will tell you, it was Lobaka. Mm -hmm. Lobaka. I mean, like the trailer. But do you are, do you have the trailer window pulled up? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this was. Oh, okay. I had a. I was thinking about the wrong theme. Okay. Oh no, this is right. Okay, this is right. Okay. But it sounds, the trailer sounds word. muffled, anyways. From the Academy Award-winning animator of Blue Brained Roger Rabbit comes an extraordinary new adventure. Behold the wonders of Arabian Night: Journey to a Faraway Land. 
guarded by magic. We are safe from Mama. any threat. As long as those three golden balls are on the minaret. Where a wicked <laughs> wizard schemes to steal the throne. The world is mine to take. And a thick-headed thief paves the way for disaster. The balls are gone! Even though we talked about it and it's dressed and it didn't do of a beautiful it, princess. I still think it rips off Aladdin somehow. I mean, the determination of a humble shoemaker. What is your name? I'm Tack. And the help of some outrageous new friends. I am ruthless. The chief. There are still people bitching about can the save an enchanted last kingdom. Week or two weeks ago, chat. I'm about to me. Dude, I'm gonna set fire. Nelzo, we yes. like you. Nelzo, we liked, liked you. Just like they missed. Forget to record the, the balls. Cut the balls! With the brigand. Is that for this? No. And go for the gold! With the first animated motion picture created in widescreen cinemascope in over three decades. Featuring the lyrics of Oscar-winning songwriter Norman Gimbel and the voices of Vincent Price. Gentlemen, what a delight. And Jonathan Winters. Good morning, Arabians. Arabian Night. What's the name of that movie? Arabian. My Uncle Richard. Uh, Shush! Hush, please! <laughs> Anthony Parkin Seen says that works. Good. There was a 60s version where the dubbing is less Disney ripoffy, which would make sense because this movie was in production for decades. Yeah. So yeah. I'm sure they took a couple whacks at it, and at some point somebody was like, let's make it kind of like this. Well, and it this, just, you know, you know, being a Disney movie, it just happens, you know, like Mad God, that crazy stop motion movie that came out last year was in production for 33 years. And then it was the same plot as Lightyear. Um, that's, what's not, that's not true. It was a big animated movie that came out last summer. Buzzard Lightyear? Yeah, it was. Yeah, Lightyear. You know, the, you don't know about that movie that came out last year? Oh, uh, Mad God's the same movie as Lightyear? Yeah, I was, I was, I'm kidding. I'm just completely <laughs> bullshitting right now. No, Mad it's God funny, is, it's there is nothing Sorry. in the universe like Mad God. It's, uh -huh. I, I love it. Okay, good. I it's was like, like wow. <laughs> that'd be amazing. I, I wanted to see it till now. <laughs> I mean, if Lightyear, Lightyear was if, a weird movie. Did you see Lightyear? A, yeah, yeah, I saw the theater. I did like that. Pixar made, like, for the first time, it felt like they just made a genre movie. Like, they just made an action movie, which had problems, you know, but it was still, I don't know. I kind of liked it, but, yeah, it was it was super weird. The whole idea is fucking weird. Like, why they even I, do it? It's such a, but, I mean, like, like, even, like, before you get into the idea of, like, this is the thing that the toy is based on. Like, mm. separated from that, like, the narr the the narrative of the movie is so disconnected from anything. Yeah, the time it's travel. Bizarre, and... yeah. The I, whole thing I know that like... they had to put warning signs up in the theaters because people were upset expecting a Toy Story movie. Oh, really? Yeah, now, yeah. see, that's just they had to stupid. Put... That shouldn't be Pixar's fault. Like disclaimers. They to... like There were just disclaimers yeah. on the thing being like, just to let you know. Well, they have to put disclaimers on it now that if you show it in Florida, you'll lose your teaching job. <laughs> oh, because the lady, uh, lady's kissing it, right? Because there's there's a, a a gay couple in it. Yeah, oh, that's right. People did get mad about that. But uh, I was mad about it because it was not. Oh, wait, I think I accidentally almost ripped off someone's joke. I just remembered some. But anyways, uh, someone I know made the joke about like, yeah, I'm mad about it too because there wasn't more. <laughs> <laughs> I forget who said that, but yeah. There wasn't enough ladies kissing. Right. Usually the movies you watch, there's... All right. There's, That's all it is. Yeah, it's all it is. It's two ladies. It's still it's like... And you there's know, more time travel. But yeah. I this reminds me of Timmy specific. being angry at the stork bringing babies in. <laughs> was that me or was that Trevor? That was I, you. I don't think I was in that... Was I, I don't think I was in that sketch. Wait, the Stork no, Factory no. sketch? No, no, no. It was a conversation where you guys were talking about a Pixar movie. Oh! And you were like, of course no. they can't show how babies are made. The pic No, no, it wasn't uh -oh. Pixar movies. It was the... It was... Uh, 
Boss Baby. And Boss Baby, there was another movie called Storks that came out right around the same time. And they were both about these weird ass, like fantasy world <laughs> versions of how babies are made. <laughs> Is that what I was talking about? Was that it, Nate? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, of? but it, it seemed like you were upset. Yeah, no, I think that's bullshit. <laughs> you know what's funny is that uh, that Barrett had this the conversation with me today that she was like, I don't like Boss Baby because the parents just leave those kids home alone all the time. They do, and what's a baby? <laughs> Yeah, and she was like, and and yeah, one's a baby, and the other kid's supposed to take care of it. That's not responsible, and I'm yeah. like, you're right. And that kid's you're like right, seven. Uh, yeah. Also, so the ba- the boss baby is actually completely self, uh, you know, reliant and can talk and do stuff, but the parents don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Grimoire just said there's also Bosch baby, which is really funny. If it did, that's uh, funny. I, I watched that show. Detective. Uh, Do you I think remember other oh, go ahead, there was sorry. here in, in, in LA, you know, there, there's some stuff that's sort of like, uh, you know, not really in the LA scene. And I remember when, when I was working on a cartoon, uh, we were talking with one of the, the, uh, producers about, um, uh, Lance Reddick about getting Lance Reddick and we're mm-hmm. like oh maybe Lance Reddick could do a voice in this and like yeah yeah Lance Reddick would be really cool and she's looking at us like very puzzled then she you know like it's like types away and then like goes oh from Bosch <laughs> we were just like <laughs> oh you're a Bosch fan from Bosch I, that's so funny okay <laughs> there's so many I mean uh, wow I mean, I think John Wick lost Fringe. Boss should be a few down. You yeah, know, yeah. Lance Reddick's filmography. Yeah, The Wire. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, The Wire. Um, uh, uh, the guest. Maybe the guest would be under Bosch for most people, but man, it's crazy. Destiny. Uh, oh. Uh huh. Zavala didn't. Wasn't there an in, a in game, uh, like memorial event that people just kind of oh. that the players just kind of did. I think there was that like gathered on Destiny 2 and like, you know, uh, memorialized Lance Reddick. I was pretty fucking bummed when he died, man. I would be, I would go to that and then just like, blah, 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 (laughs) in the back of the head. It was probably at the Citadel. You can't hurt him, though. Contain, I'm, I'd hack it. (laughs) I'd hack it. (laughs) They wouldn't see what's coming. I'd be all, blah, blah, blah. Now someone said, "What about I got Bo- your stuff? I got your stuff. I got all your light. What? What's the? What's the thing? The Galler horn? I got your Galler horn. That's a yeah. big rocket launcher." Uh, someone else said, "Bosk baby, like the lizard bounty hunter from Star Wars." Uh-huh. I would watch that too. Uh, Boss baby was like, yeah, my daughter was like five or six. It was like the first movie where she was old enough to say. To like have seen advertising out in the wild, like at a you know daycare or whatever, or hear about it somewhere, and then like say like I want to see that. You know what I mean? Like that was the first time she like had said, "Hey, I want to do this" because I heard about it. And I was like, ah, "Fuck!" Like really? Like your whole like uh, self, you know, uh, conscious kind of thing, realizing what happens and what you want to do. It's gonna just gonna start with boss baby, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> I yeah. Yeah, actually, you know, the guy, J.D. Riznar, who yeah. was one of the creators of uh, Yacht Rock is yeah. uh, one of the writers on the Boss Baby TV show. Wow. That's uh, and I can't believe is this is ex- the second stream where you guys have talked about Boss Baby. When he did is we an talk expert. about Boss Baby before? The one you're talking about. But that was a while ago, With, wasn't it? Tr- yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just surprised. Okay. Pop-Tart says, uh, didn't pedos really like Boss Baby? Probably. I don't know. Do they like cartoons about that? Really? I suppose they oh. do. The thing that's so hot about him is he's wearing a suit. <laughs> yeah, they probably don't like that because he's actually like an adult. Yeah. Yeah, they hate it. They're like, oh, you just ruined it. Oh, where's his little diaper and little t-shirt? It was a decent movie. Uh, Belzo says Michael McDonald. Yeah, J.D. Risner played Michael McDonald on Yacht Rock, right? Yeah, he he's he's been quoted as saying he is an expert on the Boss Baby universe. Oh man, um, let's get him on and talk to him about the mythology because I have questions. <laughs> that would be that would be a fun guest. 
That would it be would funny. be. Do you know him? I feel like I've met one of those guys before. No, I've met I've met him. I, I don't know him well. Uh uh he's he's good friends with good friends of mine. Uh Joss, baby. Uh should we get get do you guys want to watch some coming attractions or what? Yeah, man, let's do it. All right. Cause cause we got we got we got a big one this week. We do. <laughs> we got big ones. I got big ones. <laughs> uh, you you ready, I, Nate? I would I would uh, hold off Shit. for a second because uh, I would bet that there is a pre-trailer trailer here. Mm. So don't switch over till you see the pre-trailer trailer has played. I'm really, okay. I'm really curious about what it is. I would bet. All right, ready? Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, nope. No, no pre-trailer trailer. All right, switch over. I didn't know the trailer came out for this. The Osage it's took Indiana their name Jones. from Missouri and Osage Rivers. It's weird you said that because I was thinking about how you and I talked about how River Phoenix would have played all his roles. Neil oh, Comstock. Yeah, Children of Space the Middle looks real Waters. Weird here. He's getting old. And he's all shriveling up because he was Move, between 25 year olds when he showed Said the great white father. There are many. So many hungry wolves. I do like that Leonardo DiCaprio doesn't mind putting some weight on you find Yeah, man. The I like the heat. In this yeah, picture. I mean, it really throws the whole lives. Not even that. I just think he's okay with being a little doughy. Yeah. Hopefully it awakens things inside all the women in the world. Yeah, exactly. Get some minute fat guys, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Brandon Frazier. Yeah, no, he's doughy it, guy. Is it Fade a Minute? Uh, there's another doughy guy, Jesse Clemens. Uh, is it Fade a Minute? Can you is he? find I'm pretty the sure he and uh Pat in this right picture? <laughs> That's a secret. Well, I think if the trailer's out, it's not really a secret anymore, I guess. What that the movie happened? <laughs> he was in the movie. That, the, well, that he's not in the trailer. Thing, it's a big like twist that Phantom's in the <laughs> yeah. No, but I remember the movie he with- uh DiCaprio oh, Robert he wasn't Niro. supposed to say anything? No, no he, he had mentioned that he was doing something, but he like couldn't say details. Oh, that was like three years ago. Yes, 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 yes. You're right. <laughs> you're, you're right. Because he you're and right. Pat uh, and a couple other of those guys uh, were all in it. Uh, and Phantom's from that area that the movie takes place in. The, they shot it there. But uh, I feel you, anything you that that's... takes... Huh? I feel that anything that's shot out in that area, he's in. Right. A lot of I gotta stuff get that... on that track for South Dakota. Every once in a while, they shoot a movie here. You know? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Here, like well, the, the thing is, is, is that uh, like you have so many people, you can fly out from right. uh, L.A. because, or from New York, because you have to fly them out and put them up, and there's like union regulations of what you have to do for them. And mm. uh, you know, like if you can hire someone that lives there, that's a local hire. You don't have to. Pay all this extra so you have more local hires than you do of like people you can hire right. so sometimes people will like get cast as local hires and it's just like they have to like go and sneak to that place and be like yeah i'm from here and right live on a friend's couch and stuff well, it's like how zach uh had a bunch of people that lived in bulgaria they're american actors but they lived there yeah you know away stork away says timmy on yellowstone i say away stork away on a map because I don't live where Yellowstone is. Um, but that's okay. Still? I guess you could shoot it out here. But you yeah, could also uh, or you could there. travel. I, I still, I think you'd, you'd be great on Yellowstone. Um, you'd be, like telling Kevin Costner, like, this is my, this is going to be, I'm the new guy in town. I don't think this you're is gonna, right. You're going to have to move aside for the young blood and he'll go oh, i don't do that for no one it's just the sopranos with Games stetson hats are right? over 
Is that what that show is? Just like the, the Sopranos with horses? More horses? It's it's Succession with horses. All right, oh, okay. cool. Uh, uh, do you guys know about that story, though? Uh, Killers of the Flower Moon? Yeah, it's based on a true story. Nope. Timmy and Fargo, then. Still wrong. Still wrong. But close. There was no spoilers on the true story, please. Oh. The last season of Fargo did Wait, not take no, I'm not place tell you what it, in Minnesota. I'm not going to spoil though. the story, but you know, the, the subtitle of the book could be seen as a spoiler. Yeah, Nate, you're talking about season two had stuff in Sioux Falls, right? Or was it season three? One of those two. seasons did. Yeah, two. Uh, yeah. Um, so watch. I haven't seen season. I've only seen season one. I sort of watched season two. That show's great, though. Anyways, yeah, go for it. What's heaven? It's a peaceful place in the sky. Is his name Isaiah Washington? Uh, I think it's David. Wait. Yeah. David Washington? uh, Mark Mark David Washington? It's it's like two people. You're a good person to go to heaven. John David Washington? Maybe. Mark David Washington. Are you thinking of Mark David Washington? I think it might be John David Washington. Detonated yeah. a nuclear warhead in Los Angeles. We know him from his character in the movie and the television show. Okay. Yeah. As long okay. as AI is a he was in Tenet. Oh, oh Ballers. Ballers. Is he in Black Clansman? He is in Black Clansman. Yeah, he's Denzel Washington's son. For our very existence. He's good, though. Whoever's in there, they're sure worried about someone getting in. Yeah, very good. I like now. that guy too. Okay. Yeah, they're. Who Bryant points it out? They're doing that trend of like a, a weird yeah. moody cover. Yeah. Or you know. Is that gonna be Lawrence? Is it God? Is it God? Go heaven. Cause you're not good. And I'm not yeah. Christian. Locate the weapon. Yeah, it's a key. Seat belt. You say this guy didn't want to wait the try out. We are this close to winning the war. Execute her, or we go extinct. Is this just? Terminator movie? They're coming to get me. So th- this is the this is the biopic about Tyler the Creator. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had no idea he was uh, from a robot future world. Oh, Who, you should you should read a book, Timmy. Somebody was telling me I forget who it was. I apologize, Chet. There was a movie I really liked, and they were like, "That guy did a new movie called The Creator." I forget what it other the other one is. Godzilla Rogue Monsters Rogue One. Rogue One. Yeah, yeah, I really, really liked Rogue One. I like it too. It said it in the trailer, and we talked. I about wasn't it. watching. Yeah, it said it in huge letters. <laughs> Grimward, have you seen the trailer for Sisu? Uh, yeah, so did you. If you're, I mean, we watched it on here like the last episode or two episodes ago, maybe. Yeah, yeah, we watched it, and I watched uh, Sisu the other day. Oh yeah, you were talking about it last night. You know. What's it called? Yeah. Sisu. Sisu. Oh, maybe you weren't on that episode. The uh, movie that came out uh, late April, maybe it came out, and it's a World War II movie. It's from Netherlands, and it's like this old man killing a bunch of Nazis. Chill. Abby Season? Sally says he had COVID. Grimward, you had COVID? I don't know. Oh, he has co- COVID brain. Oh, I'm sorry Me? about your long COVID, but uh, we did watch that I had trailer. COVID? I don't know. Somebody had I, you, you mentioned that. Oh, Finland. Finland. Not, sorry, not Netherlands. Finland. Yeah, because it's the same director who made Rare Exports. And, Finland had, uh, had COVID? Game. Yeah, the entire country. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, that, it was pretty good. It's, it's like short. It's, uh, it's short and sweet. 
that's see, all see. I need. I watch anything that's eighty minutes long. Well, I, I like to watch the movie Showdown in Little Tokyo, starring Brandon Lee and Dolph Lundgren. It's ridiculous and fun, but it's also seventy nine minutes long. It's like fuck yeah. Oh, I, I want to show one extra trailer. I know we have we've we're way behind, but uh, and this is a trailer we? we've watched we've watched on the show. But mm. this is just I was talking to Timmy about it yesterday, and uh, and it. it it's right up his alley and just like, yeah, I really think it's a movie he should seek out. So I like how we're all in agreement that like 80 minute movies are great. And, and we have like four hour streams. <laughs> yeah. But this is, uh, you know, uh, right. whatever. Last man down. Oh, sorry. Shit. <laughs> hey, Tell me where the town folks went. <laughs> Is that Ice Spice? You really gonna sacrifice your wife for what? a bunch of strangers? I can't really Please see your face, I see your hair. The time for heroes Scary is spice? over, John. Remember. No, Ice Spice. You chose Dude, this. that was racist. Well, I don't know what you meant. <laughs> Is that why Russell? No, this guy's big. The wife was infected, John. She had to die. It does look we like cannot let one person be responsible for a million dead people. Please, hide. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. We found the cure. He wants to have it. The one controlling the vaccine controls the virus, and the one controlling virus controls life. Why are you telling me this? Because I am the vaccine. <laughs> it's in my blood. It just brought a lot of problems to my cabin. We're looking for a girl. She's infected. If anyone passed through. <laughs> yes. This is the out of Cal set. What do you have it? a plan to stop them? Caliper? Caliper. I think we can hold him off until winter. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. When did we talk the about this? Of new I feel like I've seen this trailer to greet you. A while ago, we watched it on this. Oh. They killed my wife. Get ready. This is Sam's pick for him. Kill him oh, and get the girl. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be like, it's Was kind of right? like so bad it's good. Right. It's like a little too bad to be considered mid, I think. But. Is it COVID thing? Like, is it. It might be a COVID thing. It's and like was a. that Gina Carano? Last man down! Oh, I Kill me! I I saw her they I just think it might be. another movie, I bet. Come on, you guys, get your shit together. It's it's like a Norwegian British co-production, and wow. so there's really bad accents. It's uh, it's a wild one. It's a very uh, it's a Abby Sandler wild just one. knocked it out of the fucking park. She said, "Moderna warfare." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, it's funny because like there's not much more plot than was in that trail no trailer right there. Really? Oh man, you've seen I it. I do like big guys with guns, but yeah. Uh... All right. Um, do you, who wants to go first? Oh, hold on, let me do this. Gridleaf says searcher for drugs. Um, who wants to go uh, first? Sam, starting the show. I can go first. Sam, I got one. Sam, you want to go first? I can. You can go first. Because I got one if you need me to. Okay. I think this is a great way to start off Fantasy Night. And here we go. And here we go. The Empress's revolutionary ideas have already taken root among the people. I have no doubt she will enforce her changes upon us. In the dark heart of a tyrant, a plan to conquer a kingdom. I must have that rod of Savrail. With one wave of it, I will topple her. In the soul of a princess, a plan oh, to free her. Oh, I remember her. The changes I remember are the yeah. of the people, whether commoner or maid. In the eyes of a thief, the oh, fight of a hero. I'd love guy? to find a way to give those mages some payback. Things are the way they are, and there's nothing you can do to change. Don't you think that's just a little bit of our 
Keyword. Yeah, dude. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay, so I was okay with it. But then, like, the dragon got impaled on a steeple, and then they cut to that guy with that. He had, like, some things coming out of his neck. That was like, yes. So I'm into it. Uh, the pool is I up thought now. that was pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, I feel like not only is that like that movie looks like like really horrible in a really like funny way. Uh, that was a a a uh, a trailer that really like showcased how they weren't trying to hide how horrible it was. It was right. just horrible. They, I mean, they had that dwarf saying, "I was they got no meat on their bones," like right in the trailer. And it's like, why would you not hide that until they've already bought the ticket? <laughs> All right, I have to find this clip. Uh, is that just called Dungeons and Dragons, or yeah, is it called yeah, Dungeons? Yeah. No, it's Dungeons and Dragons. Um, the new one is uh, has a subtitle. Uh, uh, Honor among thieves. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which the new one's fantastic, but uh, oof. All right, wait, maybe this is it. But anyways, I give there, that two points for sure. I give that two points for sure. That was we started off with some real heat there. Nate, yeah, why'd you uh, give easy. it a one? Fuck you. Yeah, easy two points. <laughs> Whenever like me and Sam are so on board, you're normally like, I'll give it a point five. Well, there is some something I found online that I, I have to show. But I cannot find it now from that movie because now it's like hard to find because of the right. other Dungeons and Dragons. There's other Dungeons and Dragons movies apparently that came out in between. Uh, like I think they probably went straight to like Sci Fi Channel. You know? Are there really? Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I knew man. Of this one. Yeah, I remember. I, li- I like the cartoon. Oh, back when we were kids, that one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, wait. Oh, this might have it. Let me see. All right, we got Dungeons and Dragons. Then you got Dungeons and Dragons: Wrath of the Dragon God, and then you got Dungeons and Dragons Three: The Book of Vile Darkness. And then you got the new one. The third one was shot in Bulgaria in 2011. Okay. What do you got? Here we go. Are you playing it in the room? All right. All right. Oh, this is great. This is great. All right. Uh, what is this? 1347. I have to go to 1347 of this clip, uh-huh. but I will play it in the room right now. Hold okay. on. Are you, are you guys ready? Mm-hmm. Hold on. It, the, the, it's a 74.1%. If uh, oh. I guess that's just Jesus. not everyone's voting, guys. Not everyone's voting. That's a two-point trailer. Just missed three points. Yeah, only about a quarter of people voted. Yeah. I, have to, I don't understand that. It's seven I'm points. I'm not saying the 150 people should stop watching, but like, what are they doing? Stuff. Um, Dungeons Two Dragons. <laughs> That'd be amazing. That's fucking funny. Dungeons uh, Two Dragons. <laughs> Mythic had a really timely joke. I said Dungeons and Dragons Three: The Book of Isle Darkness, and Mythic said Dungeons and Dragons Three was about Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Tumbleweeds. Uh, is, that, is that a locker up joke? I think it's a locker up joke. Uh, Timmy, that's seven points. Who gets them? What? What are we doing? It's a uh, Ilium works. Ilium works. Seven, seven points. points. All, right, all right. So you guys ready to see this this 
Yes, bitch. Uh, Go for it. Little bit of magic. Hold mm-hmm. on. It's a kind of magic. Uh, I have to bring it to. Oh, I think I've seen this. All right, all right, here we go. Oh, this is a deleted scene. This is a deleted scene. Yeah. But yeah, you can still see the markings on all. Oh the... yeah, the... the music. Who is this actor? Oh. Is this is it the Beatles? <laughs> <laughs> Why would they reveal this to the public? Wow. I think it's so cringe. Yeah. Well, especially here. But yeah, so normally you still have to do shit like this, yes, but this guy. Do you remember when guys like that were like the rage? They want people wanted guys that look like that in their movies. The guy from uh <laughs> <laughs> What a reveal! That's what like a, a Mario, like a Mario sixty four track. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing! I thought it was Bowser. <laughs> says Charizard, I choose you. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's so perfect. That's exactly what that was. Oh, and Resident Evil even closer. Maybe said, "Is that a Digimon? Remember Digimon?" Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Uh, who goes next, Sam or Nate? Sam. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Strength, courage, fearlessness. These traits were Kron's gifts to our people. But first and foremost, it is Kron's blood which makes us barbarians. Like Wait, did we watch this or something else on YouTube? I think we did. Come on. Did we? Yeah, I love a hero. Barbarian, it looks man. Going out on a quest is more about having big balls rather than big muscles. Once you show you're a real man, questing is fun, and crushing the enemy is easy. And now what the hell is that? Fire! <laughs> God, the music. Hey, it's a fake cashmere. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle, promise me you'll save the others. What? Promise me. Promise me. Promise me. Howdy, Albert Bard. I am Tickle Pink to join ya. I have two rules for this trip. One, this is not a quest. <laughs> and two, if we ever see anything that is even remotely quest-like, we'll absolutely go around it. What'd you do? I don't know. <gasps> Yes. Death by Snoo Snoo. We elves don't need any sleep. Hey, Elric! How about a little dance? Save balls and muscles in 3D for the whole family! How was this for the whole family? Yeah, it's like... Uh, and then he put a... a cleavage? Raynal? Ronal? What is the skull? Shh. Let me but penetrate no, your aura. Why? Gormon, Lindu, Kaelia... Ronal the Barbarian. What the fuck was that, man? That was crazy. Um, what's the, uh, 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 context on that one? Uh, the context is barbarians, babes, balls, piercing, leather, piercings and leather, Danish animation at its peak. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah, it was ridiculous. I'm definitely going to watch that. I don't want to watch it, but I love the trailer, you know? Conan the O'Brien. That's funny. Uh, I, I, I liked it. Yeah, I, I liked how it's like it looked like it was like, oh, this could be like complete crap. 
mm-hmm. then it was like, oh, this is so much better than crap, you know? Yeah. It, it's like not that it's definitely not that like Hollywood polish, but it's like way above like something like uh food fight. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys have watched the food fight trailer? I've watched food fight. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen it. That but movie heard. is rough. It's like a legendary train wreck, right? Yeah. 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 And I think it's a, probably a money laundering scam. <laughs> um, I'll give it. Yeah, I'll give it two points. I mean, it was so yeah. fucking weird. And I like that it said family. And then like Nate pointed out, it's like, like the immediately after that, there's people ripping bongs, and then there's like stuff in your face, like motor boating, and it's like, wait, what? Things yeah. I love in movies, right? It's just funny to say uh, that it's a family film, <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I yeah, I like that. Timmy and I are both giving it two points. Sam, you're on the. I'll fence. give it two points. Also, I thought it was a fun one. It's another five points from the boys. Two and minutes into the into the chat poll, and it's leading two. to two points as well. So that's Unless, set. Is everyone voted? Uh, you know, well, well, it's about another quarter of people. I think I don't think we're getting there to that. Uh, unless Norman voted. Filled with garbage says y'all are easy with the points tonight. You know what else I'm easy mm-hmm. with? I like to call uh, it slutty. We're slutty with the out. points. I'm, a, I'm easy with timing out, bitch. So that's seven points for Dances yes. with Ewoks. Ooh, that's a name and a half. All right. Yo. Nart, I, uh, I think I saw you picking yours out, but I could have been wrong. Yeah, you know, I, I kind of don't want to do random this time. I'm kind of going to yeah, choose pick, movies. Go with your heart, Nate. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to. Put on with... your heart, Nate. There will come a time on the planet Earth when science and technology will be long forgotten, when humanity will rise from the ashes of nuclear holocaust, when wizards will rule the world. 20th Century Fox presents Wizards, a futuristic fantasy epic born in the mind of Ralph Bakshi, the master of animated magic. For real. Actually crushes him, bro. <laughs> what else has he done? It is the story he's, of two brothers, Avatar and Black Wolf. Powerful so. wizards. Did heavy metal, right? Mortal heavy enemies metal. from the yeah, day of the pot. Yeah. Avatar, the good, who rules the peaceful kingdom of Montagar with wisdom. Science and technology were outlawed the many of the years. All the time as a kid. And magic. Yeah. Do you think this has a as a Black Wolf, uh, boutique the future release? To me? Attention! Oh, behold! He rediscovers the ancient uh, secrets of propaganda. Problem. You know, it's one of those things. Like any movie that kind of, sort of fell between the cracks, but is still beloved by like at least seven people. He sends out his uh, muted armies in a reign of yeah. unimaginable terror. I just, I love the effect of like traditional animation mixed with like. In kind Wizards, you will like also meet the lovely yeah, Princess S. Eleanor. And, and the loyal elf, yeah, yeah, Weehawk. Cartoon nipples are cool. And peace. Black like, Wolf, these wizard evil things with the guns I love too. Who is transformed yeah. love this. into an avenging this instrument just, of justice. Uh, imagery is amazing. Yeah. Wizards is a Tolkien it's cool. world. It's very stoner. The fairies and like elves, cool. sorcerers, and demons. It is shot 10 million years from now against strange and huge panoramic years. settings. And it is more fantastic, more enchanting, and more powerful than anything you've seen before. Wizards, the ultimate futuristic fantasy epic. I was hoping they would like say a movie like it's more fantastical than and then say, you know, I don't know, Aaron. Um, yeah, Wizards. Um, that was crazy. Wizards 35th anniversary Blu ray edition. Uh, let's I see remember, put like, that out. For, for some reason, seeing the box of that all the time and being like, oh, I want to rent that, and then being like, 
actually, no, it's really boring. Yeah, I remember thinking that, like, I want to rent it, but it looks like it's for adults, which was uh, also meant it was boring. True, though. It is for adults. Well, yeah, no, I'm right there nip- with you. I remember the that that image, because I can picture the poster. It's like the thing on the on with the gun. I don't know what they call it. Was that yeah, guy yeah. a wizard? Dude, that movie's rated PG. The red hooded guy with the with the gun on like one of those camel looking things. Yep, that's the cover. Yeah. Well, it's seventy seven, so I think there was no oh, yeah, PG thirteen yeah, 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 at yeah, the time. Yeah. Yep. You're right. It's one of those. Um, I'm uh, not finding if there's situations. some cool boutique version. It has been released a few times. I don't think it was like a boutique thing or not. But uh, Mark Hamill does a voice in this. Interesting. Uh, hmm. He is a great voice actor. The precursor to heavy metal. Oh. Mm. Um. Yeah, that trailer was cool, man. <clears throat> I'd give it two points, but maybe I'm being too easy with the points. Slutty. <laughs> Slutty. Well, you know me. Spread them, Timmy. Um, I'm doing it right now. I've got a special chair. <laughs> yeah. Nate, what, what are you giving it? Um. I am giving it two points. Two for me, okay. sorry. I'm giving it one point because I'm no slut. Yeah, he does have standards. Sam, I've heard you say this before. Spray it all over my I'm chest no in here. Spray it all over my chest in here. There you go. Um, yeah, are you really giving it one point? Yeah. Because you didn't like it. No, it's 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 I think I have like a reaction to like knowing that it's like kind of boring. Oh, yeah. And so there is something that like keeps me from getting excited about it. Knowing what's kind of boring. The movie. Oh, but yeah. we're not voting on the movie. We're voting on the trailer. <laughs> yeah, no, no, but I think while watching the trailer that that like has an effect on, you know, that the I yeah, there's a bias here. Yeah. thought the trailer was great i really liked the voiceover um the voiceover was like dramatic and was like yeah who you, was that lady i don't, I don't know, know but she had a great voice for it um she's telling you what like the history is and like what's going on you know because it does seem like a clusterfuck like our mind fuck of a movie where it's like just fucking crazy so fantastical that she has to explain it in the trailer um right. so yeah um that got uh three points from chat uh, and that's four points from us. So it's another seven point trailer. Jeez, um, we are easy. Sam's breaking points. his own rules there. Everyone's quick to point out. What? what? My, what's my own rule? Oh, not uh, letting your opinion of the movie follow. Like, I uh, have an effect. Is that my my rule? I no, don't you know. made that rule. The keeper of the scrolls, Panwall, who keeps an eye on the rule book and <laughs> updates it whenever you change your mind. Scrolls. As noted, you have said this. Oh, it's it's not about the movies. It's about the trailers. But definitely my opinion of the movie got in the way of my enjoyment of the trailer. I get it. And I couldn't separate the two. I'm sorry. It just I was... get it. Sometimes it happens. You know? Well, Jack uh, gave right. it, they almost gave it three. They gave it two. No, no, Chuck gave it three. three. Yeah, they gave it three. So, but because we gave it four, it's another seven point trailer. Seven pointers. So that's three seven pointers. We're, 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 uh, what do you call that in dice when you keep rolling sevens? Nat, nat twenties. On a hot streak? We're streaking. All right, Timmy, you're up. Yeah, I'm ready already. You guys ready? Yeah. This one got submitted. Did I say who, did I say who submitted that? I'm sorry. No. That was, uh, Anthony Potkines. Cool. Uh, this one was submitted once or twice, but this is the earliest submission. So, and the person didn't submit something else yet. So, or we didn't watch something else yet. Mm, I like the sound. Yeah. Enough. Enough. Is that um, two blood brothers early out for each other? 
I like the three the power, dudes. Which is Jack Collins. Yeah. Oh, Jack yeah, Collins, right. Curly. It is. Ow, city I know, I thought it, you know, it took me a second. The first born the brother, dudes. they called him Voltron. His most Voltron. famous role. <laughs> Right. Is that what that's true, right? Oh, the devil's agent. The yes. servant of evil. Kill him! <laughs> the second born Dude, brother. Cool they call him Hawk. Is that Christopher Lambert? Is that Kyle Lambert? Christopher Lambert. 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 One secret weapon. It's the ancient sword. power of the sword of mind. And he was Fuck out yeah. for revenge. I don't know if it is. No, it's not. It's not thing you will ever see is the woman you love. Oh, oh, I love Palace is a bad guy. Whoa. Yes. Two brothers, two armies, two forces of good and evil. Voltan's army. Two brothers that have it play when you guys show up on the street. And Hawks. And Hawks. I fucking love that animation too. Yeah. A giant. Oh, he's An elfin bowman. A witch. And, uh, and uh, what the hell? The just jump cuts. <laughs> That's cool. Together. They took on the mighty yeah. Voltan. How did they do this effect? Together, they took on the devil's <laughs> the agent. Snow coming through the door and stuff? That was pretty cool. Uh, Two blood brothers with only blood between them. Can you tell me that Jack Mallance is the brother of this guy, not the no, father? No, that's too good. Right? Beyond the edge of darkness, there is a world of sword and sorcery. Jack Mallance looks old as fuck in this movie. I uh, dude, he, was... dude, he he did a lot of villain roles in spaghetti westerns in the late sixties, early seventies, and he looked like that then too. It's like, what the fuck? Uh, that was fantastic. I want to yeah. see that like immediately. Um, I mean, uh, you know, call us sluts, man. Two points. Yeah. You fucking slut, Timmy. Um, I I do have to go uh, one more parenting trip. I'll Spray right it all back. over my chest Two in here. Two points from from Timmy. Spray it all over my chest in here. Um, damn, that movie was. But I've never heard of that movie. Have you? No. That looked good. I loved that the the fast arrow effect, man. Like the just the jump cuts. It's so simple. Of like, yeah, hey, we're gonna put all these jump cuts to give the the illusion that he's pulling out the arrows faster than we can see him. Spoiler, yeah. it's not good. Uh, <laughs> We're voting on the Putty trailer. Walrus. Are you saying that because you've seen it? That's what I would guess, is, is that it's not good. Uh, but I'm just wondering. Oh, if, Red Letter if, Media just did it on Best of the Worst. <laughs> if uh, it's on Best of the Worst, it may not, uh, may not be good. Um, I look dope. The trailer looks like it's everything I want in a trailer. Yeah. Uh the voiceover like the effects, yeah. I also like like um a gimmick prop, you know, like something that is unique in a movie. So like that sword with like the glowing hand thing, like that's cool. It doesn't take me much to be like I am into that, you know, um uh like one tangible physical item in a movie like this you know like uh star wars was like lightsabers you know like um, right Zardoz, yeah. you know had like the heads spitting guns you know things like that really like anchor me into being like i love this and, and so a lot of that yeah there there is more than just the sword but the sword was fucking cool the, the helmet bobble with, things? with the with that with the eye thing was really cool um, there was a lot of cool stuff. Um, Those ball things. Yeah, yeah. The, the and it's a hat. simple effect. It's a simple yeah. effect. And they used it a bunch. You know, like there was uh, the the bow, the crossbow had arrows that did the multicolor stuff too. Uh, but it was great. And then like the animation of the of the hawk coming out of the, yeah. the sword. Uh, palm that ruled. Palm? Uh, I looked up 
I looked this up on a Blu-ray site to see if it's available. I'm not seeing anything yet, but they just have a related, similar titles you might like. And there's so fucking many of these movies from the early 80s. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, I'm sure word. a lot of them are submitted. Um. Anyways, what would that get? Eight points? I mean, well, I did two. You said two. Sam mm-hmm. said... I'm not a slut. Uh, one point. <laughs> Defend your I'm one kidding. Point. Two points. Two points. Two points. <laughs> It would be uh, funny if the rest of the night Sam's just like, I'm not a slut, one point for everything. Uh, that's an eight-point uh, anyway, trailer. So that's then, seven. then people would stop calling us sluts. Right? I mean, you know. I don't mind it. I'm it's empowering, slut. Sam. Uh, so, five it, from you us. You should three, be ashamed. Three from chat. So that's eight points for Guy Incognito. How is Guy doing in the standings this season? I'm sure they're up there. Who cares? He can't win. Fuck him. Oh, because he won last time? Okay. I thought his name was Guy. Is it Guy? Guy. No, no, he didn't win last time. Actually, it's Guy Incognito. Each that makes you old won last season. Right, right, right. right. What's that one? So Guy Incognito could... Each that makes you old is uh, recused. Is that the word? Recused? Yes. From winning. Recused himself. Grimward says, "Can we have a show at the end of the year where Sam and Nate, but not Timmy? Okay, fine. Grimward, Asshole. submit five trailers each from 2023, and we vote on them. Timmy submits five trailers from reissues released in 2023. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Well, you know what's wait. weird is I had that a very similar idea to that. I I had like an idea two months ago that I, that I, I talked to Nate about. I don't think I talked to Timmy about, but it was uh, that we do a kind of free for all week. And instead of like picking the trailers and having the people submit them and, and like, uh, we actually draft the trailers, like the, the, uh, the three of us draft the trailers and pick, like we have, what we usually do 20. So we, we have seven slots that we each do and we do a snake draft and we pick and then at the end the audience votes on who has the best seven. Oh, that's fun. And Which we, one of us could, three had the best seven? Yeah, and we could do themes, we could do like like comedy and mm-hmm. uh yeah. Do we can we use any any movie ever or only stuff that's from Trailer Boys previous submissions? I think anything. No, no, but they I, have to I was, have Kevin Sorbo. Oh, I was saying, I was saying that the people still submit trailers. Oh, like oh, we oh, were we looking each, okay, at okay, a yeah. list of trailers that people have uh, submitted, and we're picking from that off of That's the tough. submission, the comment of the submission, and just our kind of knowledge, you know. So, the, you know, we might be like, "All right, I'm gonna. Tr- this one looks really good," uh, and then like, "Oh, this is." That uh, turns out that one sucked. Wow. All uh-huh. right. Uh, oh, fuck. So let me ask but you this. Are you trailers. guys yeah, might, available? Only Timmy's, Timmy's usually on every other week anyway, and next week is a holiday weekend. Are you going to be around next weekend? Oh, Sam? I'd say let's not do it. Uh, I, uh, you know, we're going to be doing stuff probably. So my, my, no, no, my no. daughter, what you oh, talking to me or Sam? Well, Timmy, I'm saying I don't think you're going to be here next weekend anyway because you're going to say right. every other really weekend. So that would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if Sam is not available because it's a holiday weekend, and I could also take off whatever, then we have two weeks to the next show, so we could do it mm-hmm. the next show. But we could uh. if Sam's available next weekend, we could just do a normal show. Can I tell you guys something real quick? What? I am a uh, one more click away from purchasing Hawk the Slayer from uh, England. So wow, having a good having a good night over here. Who who put this right. out? A boutique shop? I don't know, but it's it's one of those things where it's like I don't care. In that case, you know what I mean? Like it's hard to find. It's fucking insane. I'm gonna get it. It's uh ten pounds, which is about twelve bucks. Uh, shipping might be terrible, so we'll see what that says. But I realized the other day I was going to buy a boutique um, DVD or something, and I'm like, mm-hmm. I have no physical media player. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, you have like PlayStation. Yeah, and you stuff, do. You right? have a Don't PlayStation. You? Yeah, that plays Blu-rays. Oh, but I mean, if it's American, then you should be fine. 
Yeah. Yeah. You have the driveless PlayStation? Uh, yeah. Wait. Okay. Oh. Dude, driveless shit. Come on. Anyway. All right. Sam? Uh, I got a trailer lined up for us. Oh. Ready? Oh, did we do eight for that one? Yeah. Eight. Who submitted that? That Guy was Cognito? Guy Incognito. Oh, yeah. That was like 10 minutes ago. We already did this. Yeah. Sorry. You Jesus. ready? I'm ready. What's this? It's a good name. Evil oh, this looks like more is 80s. forming an army. <laughs> the time has come <laughs> for spoke one way man too soon. to stand against them. Who will you call? Dude. Please, I can't explain now. Just get here as soon as you can. The oh, movies that so will fun. wake you up from evil. Wake up, Mary! For God's sake, wake up! Sir. <laughs> Even if you don't buy that. That's no reason to bar a little raucous, illicit sex between instructor and pupil. How about lunch? That most satanic cultists are unorganized and rather sick people. A movie with action. A movie that is sexy. <laughs> What the fuck? I wish that was the the guy asleep was when they cut to, from a movie is that is won't believe the horrors of the empire <laughs> of the dark. I only have one more bullet. I only have one more bullet. Oh my god. I'm gonna be. Whoa, the sexy lady has a monster face. Starring there. the toughest and most sensitive man, Steve fucking Barquette. <laughs> and this Richard Harrison, is that guy real. from all the ninja movies. Yeah, see, shit. Oh, uh, okay. He looks good down there. <laughs> That's where he belongs. He looks good down there. Featuring lots of this bridge. Man, fuck this narration. Don't make fun of this. Tell Freddy and Dan you're gonna be in the house. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. And a lot of robes. Even like Empire this of the Dark. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. It's a damn the narration. Classical. Narration right here. See my finger? Oh, you guys aren't looking at me right now. What'd you say to him? I told him. I told him to go to hell. Wow. Yeah, that that that's a fan edit trailer, right? God damn it! You know what though? I I I feel like I've seen this before. I don't know if it was on this show, but I've seen um, that trailer specifically, or. I don't know, but I feel like we've seen a trailer that was a fan edit in the by the same person. Well, I think it's because it like doesn't have a trailer. You know, it's like one of those things. Yeah. But I think like Timmy, do your hand thing. Once I realized the narration was making fun of it, this happened. Oh, away, stork away! Say they that. they submitted that exact trailer a long time uh, ago. Okay. Well, I mean, it still counts in the context of yes. The show tonight. Without but, the narration, it was great. But, yeah, I'm with Timmy. I'm I'm with you 100. percent It gives me one point. Yeah. I'm, I'm giving yeah. I'm giving one point. I I I'm only going to give it one point, but I want everyone to remember, I am still a slut. It doesn't mean I'm not a slut. I'm also giving it one point. Uh, Dark Queen Mia says the movie is great. I'm sure it is. And also says, sorry. Oh, sorry, you don't have to everyone. apologize, buddy. It's okay. I, I, we do always say watch the trailers, but you don't have to apologize when you fuck up. A it's thousand okay. apologies. Oh, it's no, okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'm it's glad okay. we watched it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you the should only feel bad about yourself. No, you, what you, you should do, Dark Queen Mia, is, is yeah. find out who, you should find out who narrated it and go to their house and harass them. Right? Yeah. Is be it like, okay how could you that? do that? You could... Be like, hey, you should just like not have it be so jokey because it's already silly enough. Yeah. For real, I feel like 
if Dumb you were, idiot. this is I. I'm doing a voice for the narration. Yeah. You know, if you don't have the voice for the narration, hire somebody. Like you probably have friends that have deep voice. You know, like that can do mm-hmm. it. Um, and then you know, making are, fun oh, of the sorry. trailer just takes me out of it. You know, like it could have been a straightforward trailer. You know, if you, I, I just feel it could have been a real trailer. I would have, I would have enjoyed it. Um, I feel Chad is way off because I'm like, I'm like, it still looks fucking dope. The movie, oh, they're I only giving watch, it one point. No, they're, they're it not zero. even giving it. They're giving it zero. So Chad Jeez, is okay. Here. They are wrong, but uh, yeah. Um, Look, I haven't given it points yet, and I think mm-hmm. that's an injustice for Chad to give it zero points. Yeah. So I'm giving it two points. All right. So three from us. I'm I'm playing dirty tonight. I like it, man. I like it. So three from us. Uh, and I'm that assuming goes that to... was Dark Wimia. Yes. Uh, I believe it and, was. And probably the Dark from Dark Queen Mia. Yeah. yeah. Dark Queen um, Mia. And that's the thing, is that the movie looks... I mean, the trailer was great, and the movie looks ridiculous. You know? Yeah. It's just that, that fucking jokey shit. You know what it reminds me of, Sam? I, I think uh, this is when we were in L.A. right in season five or something, and that amazing... Uh, insane clown posse song miracles came out you know that was great fucking magnets yeah. how do they work and then snl did a parody of it and i remember their parody version of that line was fucking blankets how do they work and it's like wow you guys just straight up don't understand what was yeah. funny like you, that's one of those things that's unassailable and so this is a similar thing where it's like you don't need Although, to make fun of it i will say that they did that that um sketch and it, they did it a few times where they're making fun of the gathering promo uh-huh. where it's just like all the those stuff are fun gathering. those are funny yeah, yeah. but the, the, they eventually where they, figured out how to make right fun of insane clown posse but. but like it's like for that it's like you you don't know they already handled looking dumb in their video like you <laughs> I, I uh, what's what's the line I had uh, a stork took Jay's cell phone in San Francisco Bay. The stork was mad. We ran away. I can't remember what the line was. Oh, it was yeah. something like that. It's so good. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So uh, well, that was our first non non slutty point getter. Um, Nate, what you got, bro? You got one. Yep. So you're not, shut. Okay. So with before you hit play with. Oh, too late. Never mind. Go ahead. I'll say my thing doesn't matter. Go ahead. Follow Butch Patrick on a fantastic trip through the Phantom Tollbooth, where nothing is real but your imagination. Is the Dictionopolis, uh, where words are weird. Words in a word oh, are fantastic. I think you're right. You can hint them, you can say them, you can print them, you can pray them, emphasize them, and despise them. Digitopolis, where figures are freaky. Numbers can be added to, subtracted from, divided into, multiplied by, crossed out, and erased. Climb the mountains of ignorance, where dreams become nightmares. We have nothing to worry about. And the monsters are magnificent. It's the gelatinous giant. Pass through the phantom toll booth and into the magic world of your mind. Rated G. Oh, it's Ooh. actually rated G for once. Um, <laughs> I feel like that was, was, was that submitted last week? Or, no, uh, no. Uh, not that I know of. Um Okay, in the seventies, they reused animation a lot. Disney did it. Other companies did it. The dog in that looked like the sheepdog from Looney Tunes, and that green guy looked like it had the Grinch's face. For sure. Um. Anyways, uh, have you guys read that book? Did you read that book when you were kids? Yeah. No. The book is so. like the book. I is saw like, that movie when I was a kid. Oh, you did? Is it good? It's I better than the trailer. Like, I saw it when I was. Really, really young. Right, so who knows? Yeah. I mean, we um, watched that movie a lot, Sam. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. I think, you know, it's back when the day when you would rent movies and you'd go like, right. on a Friday night, and your mom would be like, you get to choose any movie. And I know that we chose Phantom Patrol with a bunch. Um, yeah. I feel like there was that one, and there was something, it was something in the Hooded Fang. 
we used to rent. Yes, a lot I think that's submitted tonight. I think it's in here. Um, so the book, you know, it's like uh, the book was written. I don't know, maybe I think in the '60s. You know, it's definitely Wizard of Oz inspired. But the person writing it, it seems like they were like, kids get high, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The movie's <laughs> like that. The movie yeah, is, okay. is fucking spacey. Like, that's what I'm saying. Kid, For, kids smoke pot, don't they? Yeah, yeah. It, I like I like a quick trailer, but I feel that didn't really. You know, when we were doing yeah. a lot of mid hunters. The problem is I'm looking for shorter trailers because a lot of like three minute trailers give shit away. And that yeah. with like a one minute trailer, it, I, I think it, it it missed out on a lot of the more fantastical parts of the movie that make it yeah. really good. So, you know, the thing is knowing I'm not voting on it not being as good as the movie, but as a trailer on its own and knowing what it could have been. I, I have to give it uh, one point. Yeah, you know, I think a minute 45, two minutes is that sweet spot. You know? Uh, yeah, I'll give it one because I like the animation that was there, but Nate's right, it's too short. I do like the beginning with the live action. And and you heard me say, like, what, this is live action? And, and I'm not being, but it was like, shit. You know? I, I feel like for that to be cool, too, you kind of need to see a little bit more of the live action. You yes. Know? Like, look Just at this like boring a... world, you know. Yeah, I feel you yeah, could have made it... a two-minute trailer from that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No problem. Um, yeah, man. Uh, cool. So one from me, one from Nate. One, one from me. So two yeah. from us. Points and... from us. And chat was kind of split down the middle. This mm-hmm. is just missed the two point mark and getting a one point. So that's a three point trailer going to Surreal uh-huh. JC with the three points, who also voted no on this. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Surreal JC vote one, which that's I great. think is kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> on your own you submission. Know. There was a there's some uh, another horrible anti trans bill kind of thing uh, that just got voted on in Nebraska, and it won by one vote. And there was a lady, one of the representatives, like didn't read the bill and didn't agree with it, but still voted for it. So that situation, I'm not saying that the person that voted against their own trailer is an idiot like that person, but I'm just saying it reminded me of that story. But, anyways. Oh, this is another short trailer. Maybe I don't want to play it now. I think I'll play something else. Okay. Let's do... Mm. Well, I, think, like, I feel like we've seen that. Yeah, I feel like if you're a politician and you're voting against your interests or the interests yeah, of your the constituency... Yeah, what the fuck is the matter with you? You're in a pocket. You owe somebody for something. Yeah. You know? Like, somebody has fucking, something on you. Someone's got dirty Wait, pictures. Or gas whose or turn is it? Gas. It's mine, right? Uh, no. no. Yeah, Wait, yeah, who just missed? My... Who Sorry, picked no, Phantom Tollbooth? I, I did, I did, I did. And we, we've watched okay. six movies, which would make me up again, because it's three, and I started. So, okay. What um, did I pick? You picked uh, Empire of the Dark. Okay, uh, yeah. And which then before that, you for. picked Ronald the Barbarian. I've chosen so far. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. No, I just forgot it. what movie I picked. I'm just, uh, well, I was going to play one, but it was only 90 seconds. And it's like, eh, or 60 seconds, I mean. <laughs> We've spent 60 seconds talking about what the movie Shut the fuck <laughs> up, Nate. Uh, okay. Um, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Well, maybe I'll just fucking play it. Although, this is. Okay. Let's do this. Damn, you're out of focus. Your light's not on. You're looking very red. Okay. My light is on. Here we go. All right, Timmy, we're playing it. I got it. I got it. Oh, shit, three minutes. I really fucked up. <laughs> I was oh, either no. one minute or three. I just uh, I should retire. Wow. They really made the bomb, huh? It's pretty cool. I wonder if they filmed it in Greece. I think this is Harry House and shit. Hell yes, fuck him. I think they. Oh, sorry. Is that Clash of the Titans? 
Oh yeah, but he, he did play the Titans of the 80s because of all the shit he did in the 50s and 60s like this, you know. And retold since the birth of Western civilization, now presented Clash of the, the Titans was like first time. when Tarantino makes a movie and casts people that he liked as a kid, you know what I mean? And your back's break! Jason and his band of Argonauts, so the mightiest good. warriors the world of adventure has ever known, in search of the fabulous magic golden fleece. Where will you that find this miracle? It's Golden Patagonia Fleets. Of the <laughs> Clash of, of the Titans is that movie with Liam Neeson and uh, the guy <laughs> from uh, Avatar. Avatar, yeah. Like Trevor loved that version of Clash of the Titans. I think he loved the War of the Titans. Oh, Wrath right. of the Titans? Whatever it's called. Wrath of the Titans, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Jason, also. a man who challenges the gods, Medea. Who betrays a kingdom for love? A castle. Is that Kim Novak's sister? For power. <laughs> uh, you know what? Oh, I think it was spelled differently. Who defies the might of Zeus? Honor Black, but she's a bomb girl. Who unleashes his fury at rebellious mortals? <laughs> That's the extremely rehearsed. Re caught in the clutches of the towering bronze giant Talos. That is awesome. Sick. The Argonauts battling vultures, Harpies. Fuck yeah. Dude, this is great. See, I have two of the other movies like this that I bought recently that we're going to watch soon. That were made by the same company around the same time. Uh, Medea, the temple dancer. Mysterious, oh, exciting, and exotic. God, they spent a lot of money on movies then. Battling Everything. The army of Hell yeah. Oh, cool. This is the famous, this is one of the famous, uh, yeah. Those are the guys from, uh, what's that game? One man um, defying a universe of mortal and immortal That danger. fighting game for Super Nintendo? Oh my god! Fatal, Fatal Instinct? Yes! Dude. Yeah, it's all that guy from Fatal Instinct. <laughs> Killer Instinct, yeah. Killer Instinct, there you go. You know what, I did not mind that for you, Andrew. I wonder if they think this is the boldest adventure of all time. Uh, long, but loved it. I mean, listen, normally a three-minute trailer, by the end, I'm like, stab me in the eyes. I don't care what the movie is, normally by a three-minute trailer, get me out of here. But that was good. That's my hot take. I will give that two points. Oh, and I was going to say, wait, I, I don't want to take us off track. Go ahead, sir. Nobody's interrupting you. Go for it. Oh, I just don't want. Okay. Um, no, no, I was going to vote, but yeah. Yeah, no, so. go ahead and vote. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to get us to. Okay. Uh, to, Sam keeps moving, so I keep trying. <laughs> oh. So am I. This is this is how much I'll move. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. And some sometimes I'll go like, oh, I'm just going to adjust something, but I'm just adjusting something. Is it your I'm dick? Just adjust. You don't have to move is it and, or, or change it. No, no, like lighting and stuff. It's his dick. Uh, so, yeah. Um, you know what? Uh, this Greek mythology stuff, not fantasy. Fantasy oh, is shit. nice Here and we go. stuff. Here so we go. Off topic. No, Here we go. I'll give it Another. two points. I'll give it two points. <laughs> More like Studio Greekly. Uh, <laughs> Callback? Call back, baby. Uh, man, you know, I did watch a lot of that episode. I said this earlier, but man, from that point on, it's like, drop the acid. Let's get into this shit. It was really good. The last hour of that episode is really good. I mean, when the when, when Sam the, starts we freaking out about rails. anime, yeah, 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 dude, it was good. It was really good. Yeah. And then he comes back and had a space background. Oh, I would yeah. say, don't was... encourage him, but I'm talking to you. No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean but you're talking to me oh but yeah yeah i'd be, I'd be like chat don't encourage them to go off the rails but i'm not talking to chat i'm talking <laughs> right and yeah uh i give that two points it was rad I, and i mean yeah, you yeah. know the giant man poseidon what a great effect and then the bronze so, statue thing so good the, the, what's funny is the poseidon part of it was like a minute and a half of the trailer <laughs> yeah that was, <laughs> was weird but the they trailer. focus on that what's chat giving it Chat right now is They're at, at three. three points. Yeah, we give this it five. Is, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, we gave it five points. Chuck gave it three points. Dijon Tandu says, this show has rails. Banned for life. (laughs) Banned for fucking life. Uh, Dijon Tandu uh, is is getting extra credit points because Deja has gone out and acquired a movie called Slow Mo, which I haven't been able to find (laughs) anywhere. And not only did Wait. they find slow mo oh, for shit. us to, wow. to get us a copy to watch with subtitles and stuff, it also came with a workbook. So Deja's trying That's to scan the workbook like a Christian for like, so workbook yeah, like something you would something oh. you would like have kids complete after the movie. And certain parts of the workbook are just really silly, where it's like, what are these two pictures? You know, what doesn't belong in this Nazi laboratory, right? Wait, is slow mo <laughs> slow mo's the one with the glasses? Yes. Yes. Oh the my Nazi glasses. god! I yeah, thought so it was it's the like, one. I thought it was the one about the black guy and the girl racing. Okay, Jesus. What was that the one? Perfect race. That's right, the perfect okay. race. Yeah, 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 Which okay. had no Jeez. racial content at all. That was actually about a, a <laughs> like a physical speed race. Uh, it was a good, a Which, good sports movie, right? <laughs> we keep talking about that because we watched it on Mid Hunters, and the Perfect Race was was not the worst movie we've seen by That's far. So funny. And it's aggravating because it was like yeah, because you guys all think New well. Nightmare is the worst movie you saw, which is insane. So no, unfortunately, New Nightmare is in the top ten of like oh, oh top ten's more than yeah, you have more than ten movies. Okay, which I mean, New Nightmare is awful, but yeah, you're you're, uh, you're wrong, but it's okay. Uh, Moving on. Wait, where um, did where did uh, we are your friends? Is that in the top ten? I don't think we are your friends did very well. <laughs> oh so, wow! What are we at? We got eight points for this one. Jack gave it three. Uh, yeah, right. I think it got. Yeah, we're getting full, at five. Yeah, yeah, I think it got. So that is good. eight points for Crisco. All right. Um, two quick things before we move on. Um, we were talking about the eighties. Clash of the Titans, Harry Hamlin, Ray Harryhausen did it. Uh, I think, unless she saw something else at her mom's house, I think that was my daughter's first time seeing a boob in a movie, and I didn't know it was going to be, because at the beginning, they have all of, because Harry Hamlin plays uh, Perseus in that movie, and so they have a, you know, Perseus's origin story, and like the lady's like breastfeeding him and like whips her titty out of like, oh, okay. So that's one thing I want to say. The other, no, it is natural and it's fine. And I mean, the thing is, is, you know, so she's been breastfed, so it's fine. But the other thing I want to point out is that Hawk the Slayer with tack or with shipping will cost me $22. And I don't see a problem with that. $22 is still, I thought you were going to say it, it was going to be like $45. If it was over like, 30, I'd be, if it was over 25, I'd be like, eh, but 22 is fine. Do you need the 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 hard copy of it? I want the hard okay. copy of it. And uh, collecting uh, Blu-rays is about want, not need. Huh? You're getting it in 4K, Timmy? No, I don't have a 4K player, and I'm, I'm not really all that concerned with the full 4K. I know, I'm just thing I'm messing yet. with you because everyone keeps asking you. I know, and I that's, hate that's that. That's our inside joke. That's my inside oh, okay. joke. Yeah, no, you. and we've talked about it before. But for, with me, it's like, no, I don't, like, you don't, no, it's fine. Like, I, I got it. You could watch it on Plex and Freebie, I guess. But I'm like, uh, I feel like I'll be happy with this purchase. I, I haven't ordered much anything recently, but I finally got, in coming in the mail, Dawn of the Dead, the 80s one, the uh, George Romero one, because it's extremely hard to find. And America yeah. doesn't have a Blu-ray of it. And there's a company in Britain called Second Sight, which does really nice releases. And I found the Second Sight Dawn of the Dead for like 30 bucks, which is a steal. Normally, it's at least 50 So, finally. But, you know, I've just been wanting to watch that movie, and it's so fucking hard to find. You know? So, anyways. Uh, but I might order Hawk the Slayer, so I guess. I, I said go for it. Uh, P- PS5 does do 4K, Panini Mini. Oh. Uh just so you know. Uh, and Is it a big... Sorry. Uh, I bet it's... Not, it, it does, like... There are some transfers that look amazing. But yeah. I, I I bet I couldn't pick it, pick it out. But, like, I do have a bunch of 4K DVDs that I'm like, oh, that's cool. Like, I have the Apocalypse Now 4K. Mm-hmm. Uh, Timmy, do you have a PS5? No, no, no. I just have a I have a region free Blu-ray player, and that's what I watch uh, movies on. Um, but 
I have some 4Ks just that came with the Blu-ray for stuff, you know, but uh, I don't know. I, I just don't know if I care yet, but, but the difference from DVD to Blu-ray is pretty big, so, you know. Yeah, to- totally. All right. Uh, so that was eight <sighs> for Chris Cook. All right. Y'all ready for this? Our city's going to be destroyed by fire. Oh, that looked really good. Nate ruined it. All right. When I say y'all ready for this and you're not, say no. Like, yeah, man. I mean, Sam's got the setup. I said wait. That's why I said do, 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 do. Timmy had enough time to say do, 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 do. Just saying. Just saying. Jesus Christ. I saw one quick shot that already put this in a two territory for me, so we'll see what happens. Good play. Our city's going to be destroyed by fire. (laughs) Unless I find a way for us to escape. Oh my god. This is a path. This is a way you must go. The only this way to heaven, dream, isn't it? The celestial yep. city. You know, you go is wandering it? around back there. We go with mm-hmm. you. We're all gonna die. Is that the guy? You couldn't find a more dangerous path. You tried. <laughs> 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 oh, that That's a great sentence. What, where do you think this path is gonna lead you in the end? Is that the rabbi from that movie? You couldn't find a more dangerous path if you tried. Let you go. I see it didn't take long for you to wander off the path. On the path, we just started following you. (laughs) Nothing will compare to what you'll be rewarded with if you follow this path faithfully to the end. Now you are in misery because you rejected the counsel of God and walked off the way of peace. In his backpack. It's over, isn't it? I'll never find stuff. a way for my family to escape. Uh, the briefcase from Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Does that happen? Is this a story from the Bible? <laughs> it might have been. Uh, excellent. All right. Wait, okay, uh, the was that guy the comment rabbi is, from the? A man fights terrible CGI and editing while wandering through a forest preserve in what looks to be Atlanta. Uh, <laughs> I love how you can tell a Christian movie from being a Christian movie for the choice of the main character wearing a uh, blue button up shirt and khakis. <laughs> Dude. Before they even brought up Bible shit, it was like, this is a Christian movie. You could just tell. Maybe that yeah. means we've been doing this Usually the blue button-up has, like, kind of a pattern on it. Yeah. yeah. Like it's the same fucking guys. Okay, it's so there looking. was a guy in there that I thought was the rabbi from that, you're going to be a rabbi in South Dakota movie. This is a different world for sure. Like, this oh, okay. is a different filmmaker, but okay. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll start hunting some details on this. Uh, <laughs> Heroes in Christian movies look like managers of Chick Fil A. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which they would probably be like, "Thank you, thank you." <laughs> I'm so gl- I'm so glad you noticed. Oh, there's another. There's like a an animated version of of called uh, not of this movie, but like of what looks like the same story. A Pilgrim's Promise is uh, I, I've, I've is a read Bible before, story. Yeah. A Pilgrim's Progress. Sorry, not a Pilgrim's Promise. Lady Petunia says South Dakota is so landlocked. And yeah, that's yeah. It's too bad. Is that is that true? Yeah. Did you not know huh. that? Yeah, that's why you guys don't respect it's, it, remember? Because there's so not a landlocked, big body of huh? water. I think wow. the further away I, you are from ocean, it, it affects you. 
Yeah, yeah. Did try to like reach out and get new experiences. It's too bad. Actually, well, no, just, you, you don't. I'm just you kidding. Stare I did into the abyss that is mm-hmm. the ocean. You know, it 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 changes a lot of things for you. Here's a good question. Lou Reed says, "No, hold, oh, sorry, Nate was still doing his bit." Tell me when you're. Tell me when you're finished, Bill Hicks, and I'll I'll be done. Uh, Lou Reed says, "Timmy, who is the sexiest person to come from South Dakota other than you?" I'm glad you asked. There's some really good answers to this question. Uh, um, Mamie Van Doren is from here, and she was one of the other ladies that looked like once Marilyn Monroe became popular. A few other actresses that were blonde and uh, well endowed. Uh, came around. She was one of them. Um, she's from here. Catherine Bach, who is Daisy Duke on the Dukes of Hazard, is from here. And January Jones is from here. So, you know, we have a couple of babes. Oh, and so was uh, some other famous model from the 70s and 80s. What the hell was her name? Anyways, we got a couple. And uh, Bob Barker. Yeah. Depending on what you're into, you know. Who's the second one you said? Uh, January Jones, uh, Catherine Bach, who was uh, Daisy Duke, and Mamie Van Dorn. I think it was Mamie Van Dorn. I might be wrong. One of those, uh, not Marilyn Monroe, but kind of like Marilyn Monroe. Yes, Mamie Van Dorn. She's from Rowena. She was from Rowena, South Dakota. Oh, Cheryl. I think it was Cheryl Teagues. She was a model. She was from South Dakota. No, not. Oh, she's from Minnesota. There were some. There are some other famous hot lady from here. Um, also, Tom Brokaw. I mean, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. Cheryl Ladd. That's what I'm thinking of. Cheryl Ladd. Cheryl Ladd. Oh, and Brock Lesnar. Oh, that's cool. If you like a sword between two big titties. Uh, that's your standard of sexy. <laughs> God, he, well, you know, so my uh, one of my coworkers went to school with him, and so she be she she's not like a big wrestling fan, but she w- watched wrestling for a long time because to watch Brock on it, you know, but because he's from very close to here, he's from like forty miles away, and I saw him wrestle like normal high school wrestling once, way back in the day. Cool. Someone said Butterfield Suplex says Bob City. Hell yeah. Panini says, Bob Barker, does South Dakota have a huge unspayed, unneutered pet problem? Uh, probably, but Bob Barker is actually part native and lived on a reservation here when he was a kid. So uh, so what do you guys give P- Pilgrim's Promise? What's that? What are we doing? <laughs> I, uh, I really liked it. I mean, I feel like I feel like two points, but I, I don't know. I'm kind of wavering between one and two. What do you guys think? Zero. It was pretty wild. I give it two points. I'll give it. Nate's giving it zero just because it's a. Even it's without a it, without it, yeah, because it's. I, it just didn't like the one thing I thought was funny was how big the backpack was through the whole thing, mm-hmm. but it just yeah. like it just didn't give me. It didn't give. It wasn't giving. I don't think I that's it was, true. I, I thought it was very giving. Uh, yeah. Um. I'll give it one. So uh, I'll give it two. I'll give it two. So that's three from okay. us. And chat gave it one. Is that so? I, I forget. Four, four points for punished anus. Sober is dope for four twenty. Says Barker was a poon hound. Um, is he? Uh, I'm sorry, but it is Barker is a poon hound. That guy ain't dead. Is that true? Yeah, but at, he's, at some yeah, point, I just looked you it up. gotta he's, hang it up. Well, I don't know. He's only 99, though. Yo, so you think he's still rolling in it? He might be. Think rolling Bob Barker's walking around? The guy still fills a suit, you know? Okay. Um, <laughs> moving on to the next thing. There's Who's somebody... It? It's Nate's it's my turn, turn, right? I was going to say, I was looking at a bunch of different... Um, uh, submissions to see which one and and there's there's somebody out there that just crushes context like every movie they submitted i was like this is a good write-up i have to see this so it's it's very tough to choose uh when there's so many 
weird looking ones that I'm like, uh, okay, I, I don't know. It's tough. I'll just say mm-hmm. that. Um, and so I'm excited when they write something up that's good and I see that somebody else submitted it. So then it's like, I can, I can watch something they submitted and then watch this, another thing they submitted because someone else submitted it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, are you ready? Mm-hmm. 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 upon a dark age in a forgotten world of amazing myths and legends when wretched creatures roamed about freely and preyed on the unsuspecting when man's most formidable adversary Whoa, simply badass. emerged from the deepest bits like of that. hell wow. yes. when people could yes. no longer find shelter from the lurking evil <laughs> what the fuck he had wondrous powers no normal human being could ever possess. And invulnerable as he was, water was his nemesis. <laughs> These are the untold adventures that will stimulate your Monday senses and awaken your Indonesia. imagination. That's that's my rat man. Oh my god. <laughs> Join him as he unravels the perplexity of his origin. for the truth about his being. Yes. Yes. Wait, this is probably from Mexico, isn't it? He will oh, try yes. to walk you to the magical world of mythical wonder. A film masterpiece of fantasy from Cenex Films. <laughs> wow, that was great. Where's that from, though? Because I, I, I felt like it was. I'll Southeast read you the context. Asia. Okay. 1982 runtime, one minute and 59 seconds. Mm-hmm. A Filipino film oh, featuring Filipinos. a young boy with the powers of Sonic the Hedgehog facing <laughs> off against the usual <laughs> yeah. fantasy baddies such as a giant, a wizard, and questionable use of blackface. <laughs> Well, I don't know if I saw the blackface. That. I don't know if I saw blackface. There were actual black people in there, though. In fact, uh, for a second, there was like a group that looked like they were supposed to be like a band or like the Jackson Five or the Commodores. There was like four or five black people with like with like done up hair and a bunch of fancy outfits, and it looked like they were a band. Do you see that part? No. And then they were like getting threatened by something. I don't know. Anyways, that was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, two points for yeah. me. No problem. Not disappointed. Two points. We could do the ultimate point for this one. We're about halfway through, and I would be okay with that. I, I'd be okay I, with that also. <laughs> okay. You know what that yeah. means? What? We've united the seal. <laughs> yes. But what do we do? Did we have to do it over Sam's face? Yeah, do it over Sam's face. Okay. Oh, I went the wrong side, way. I'm, I'm so fucking stupid. I never get this right. Your left. <laughs> I it. There we go. Okay. Come on, guys. Let's do it. Let's do this. <laughs> Earth, wind, okay. fire, hard. Um, I'll see if trying to jerk us off. So that gets a full <laughs> six points from us. This actually has very high score in chat. Four people have Ooh. voted no, including and Domino's all- Fleet. Oh, what do you and, know? And uh, let me see who else voted no on this. Resident Stevel, Niamix. Wow. I, you oh. know what? I have had Niamix knows issues better with than that. all of those people's opinions about things. So and Littmans. Littmans in the tub. Mrs. Littmans. Littmans in the tub voted against it? Oh, no. you know, they I expected it. this much from Resident Stevel, but Niamix, Littmans? Littmans. What is Yeah. President Domino's Fleet Domino's. makes sense. Domino's yeah, Fleet, I'm I can see. Surprise Mythic voted for it. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I ha- I need my villains. It doesn't mean I hate them. I hate them. But it doesn't necessarily mean I hate them. Did Mythic vote? This is the kind of thing Mythic would vote against. Is- but did Mythic vote? 
don't know. Um, is so is Boy God your ass out? Is Boy God a rap name already? Can that be my rap be. name? Yeah, Domino's right, Fleet says, I love that you hate me, Timmy. Domino's, I hate that you love that. Fuck it's you. a pretty good rap name. Boy Genius oh, is up, a band Boy name. God. Mythic says, I don't vote for no's. No, it's nos. Oh. He means like nitrous. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, that, that I would say that it's movie had a lot of nitrous. Um... Looks. Oh, Nymix says, sorry, my ADHD is ruining everything for me. I can't pay attention and then I don't like them. I have ADHD too, and I understood that that Yeah, you don't have rule. an excuse. Yeah. My meds have says, worn off by now. It's 1014. My meds have worn off a long time ago. I just looked at other films by the lead actor in this. Um, yeah, oh, he good, was in a good. lot of blackface stuff. Oh, boy. But that okay, doesn't ruin so, how great this trailer was. Uh, um, so, eight points. Still got three points from chat. No, nine, nine points. points. Yeah. Holy shit. And that is for who? I mean, I know who, but you get to You know what? Trailer Warriors All-Star going to Flanja, who submitted mm -hmm. some straight fire this week. And unfortunately, yeah, that is the other one. I mean, have you guys seen that other movie? Well, I don't know. The, the, the one right under Boy Got on that list, I saw in the theater and fell asleep, but it's ridiculous. So anyways, uh, that one. Yep. Oh, I've, I've heard Fall. of that. Yeah, it's a tar Tarsum Singh. Uh, anyway, so... I am ready, if you guys are ready. And I want to say, since we never really answered the question, I think it's okay to say that the hottest person from South Dakota is Catherine Bach, who played Daisy Duke. Because, like, I mean, I watched a lot of Duke's Hazards as a kid. I mean, geez. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, yeah. I'm, you don't have to explain it. I'm there. Yeah. Did you ever do the thing where Smoke you... Show. Huh? Where you, where you jerk off to Daisy Duke, and then uh, like right when you're about to come, you go, "Oh well, Timmy's balls have gotten themselves into a lick of trouble," and then you wait like two minutes before coming, and then you, you when you come back, yeah, man, we'll it's called uh, I call it uh, moonshine in it. Yeah, Ooh. we'll Love see it. what happens to Timmy's balls when. <laughs> The head of my penis is in a whole mess of trouble. What's it gonna do next? <laughs> the whole on, I don't wait think and I've find ever, out. And then you edge if, for two minutes, and then yeah, you, it's great. <laughs> I don't think I've ever jerked off to her, so let me write that down along with the hawk the slayer, hawk the slayer. Wait, you're boss. gonna jerk off like a to do list? <laughs> no, I just meant like because I always say I write down the movies I want to watch. Yeah, oh, <laughs> To the sugar. <laughs> but listen, once the movie shows up, I mean, why do you guys think I buy physical media? I imagine it's so I, imagine, I can pay tribute. Yeah, I imagine this list has like nap eight times on it. <laughs> <laughs> has what well, nap? Like a, that yeah. said? A, a jerk off oh hit God. list is is That's new funny. to me. I've not heard of that before. I love that. Uh, okay, so uh, I got a movie ready. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh, and uh, oh, I need to go get. They need me to re-enter all the information on my credit card to buy Hawk the Slayer. I gotta go get my wallet. But let's watch this. On a distant planet, a great kingdom was ravaged by beings who came from the future. Beings to conquer the universe. Fall in. Now. The only survivors follow a doubtful seer and a throneless king. They will hold her in the Black Fortress. You must have help. Thieves, bandits, fighters and brawlers. Desperate men. Those are the kind of men I need. Well, you heard him. We are now an army. What's that guy? I know, I was just going to see that. Uh, I love that guy. Yeah. They must fight. An invincible enemy. Uh, I think he played one of the uh, Scottish royalty. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What is about to Whoa. happen to them? I guarantee there's people in the chat saying this is a fantasy because there's lasers. Don't worry, I got it. presents a world apart from anything you have seen before. Wow. Yes. Is it the glaze? Is that what that was? I've never seen that. I've always wanted to see that. 
You've never if seen you ask, Crow? I know. It, I want to see it so bad. Here's the thing. If you asked me what Crow was about, I would have said it's about a five-pronged knife. Yep. Yeah. That's all I would be able to say. <laughs> That's, like, yeah. It's about a badass throwing star. Um, so I, I know a lot of people are uh, – some people did say it. Then someone said, well, everyone's probably thinking it. Like – Star Wars is also fantasy. When you see something that has robots and lasers, it doesn't automatically mean science fiction. At least to me, science fiction means it also is going to try and like have it. Like when we did the hard sci-fi thing, it's like it's got to be like connected to reality. Like you know, there's science behind the fiction. But when it's just like I'm a wizard and I have a laser sword, that's still fantasy, you know. And I think that's Remember, totally yeah. fantasy. Like look at the Thor, like the Thor movies are fantasy. You know what I mean? There's like space gods flying around, but there's lasers and robots too. You know. So. Yeah, and I love, I I love this movie, and I'm I, and and it I'm, looks great. I, yeah. I don't mean this as a dig, but I'm just so shocked that you haven't seen this because I, know, I feel I know. this yeah, is yeah. so up your alley. Um, well, and, I also am I, uh, not a huge '80s guy, so sometimes I just avoid '80s shit. But uh, I used to, not anymore. But but in, in yeah. this, what I really love is like the. Like the the main band of people have this kind of uh, more uh, wildling barbarian kind of thing with like animal skins and leather yeah. boots, and then the bad guys are all kind of like more robot looking stormtrooper guys. Mm -hmm. I fucking love that. Um, yeah, that you know the early '80s had this awesome um, anti-authority thing to it, and then it morphed into in, in movies. I'm talking about. And then because of Reagan, it morphed completely against that. And one of the best examples is not a fantasy series, but Rambo. First Blood is like an anti-war movie. Yeah, you know, it ends one. with a monologue about like how they fucked up the vets and how these kids like Stallone's character came back from war all fucked up. And then what are the later movies? Completely fucking hoorah Propaganda. USA, let's shoot brown people stuff, you know? Yeah. So um like i just watched escape from new well, york the third one is yesterday. is let's work with the brown people and right. then those ended up being ended the up people being that blew terrorists. up the world trade center yeah but it's still very gung-ho shit um yeah. and dude the last one rambo last blood did you guys see that one yeah uh, yeah the first half is like just straight That's... up racist against mexico the last yeah. half is fun when he tr like sets traps in his house but oh my god the first half is did you brutal. see the one when he was in southeast asia oh, it's yeah, like one man. of the most violent the... movies i've ever seen yeah life. i saw that in the trailer with or in the theater in new york with my brothers andy and david and then i went, came and did stand up with sam at scum and villainy the, that night at that show we used to do and i remember I, I was just doing like kind of bits off the top of my head about it like I'm like, you know, I love action movies and stuff, but there's a scene in Rambo 4 where Rambo goes, fuck the world. And then you're seeing him, like, obliterate people with, like, Jeep-mounted cannons, and you're just like, yeah, this guy really does hate everybody, you know? Trevor <laughs> Trevor auditioned for a part in that movie. Uh, I remember doing the scene with him. We actually did a really funny yes! thing where we, yes! where we, we chromed out the uh because he did it in front of a white wall and he was like oh in, in my bedroom and he was like oh i could do like i could do like a chroma thing here and he and so when he edited it he goes uh like all right let me turn on my thing and he goes like this like he's switching something on and then all of a sudden it's a jungle behind him <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. and he was like auditioning for this sniper character that i don't even remember from the movie yeah there was like uh, a, yeah i can definitely see trevor playing that guy but he said uh that in the script because you read the script there was an action description that said uh rambo yes! looks at this guy yeah. like he's never wanted to kill anything so bad in his life right and then later the script describes rambo as becoming the angel of death trevor showed me that script too it's fucking insane yeah. do you remember that part sam it says like he's the angel of death it's like what uh it's yeah. crazy it's yeah. great uh someone said a little bit ago trevor moore said uh i think lou reed said it i said trevor said that star wars is not fantasy that should be your first clue that star wars is fantasy <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what would you give Kroll? Two I mean, points. I, I'm interested because you hadn't seen Two it. Points. Two points. 
I mean, dude, dude, that, look, there was so much stuff going on, and like you have those very fantasy scenes, like the guys on the canyon and stuff. Then there's these stormtrooper guys, and I, I loved, it. I love that shit, man. I love it when they mix that high tech stuff with classic fantasy tropes. I think it's great. You yeah, know? Um, I think the movie is better than the trailer. Um, but oh, I still really? like the trailer enough and I'll give it two points. Um, I mean, I think the movie is a good entertaining movie. It's not one of those things where you're like the trailer is great, but the movie really sucks. Mm -hmm. Um, I think this is a pretty fun adventure movie. Um, but the trailer I think delivers. So I'm, I'm going to give it two points. I, I, who is the guy? I, uh, he's in a ton of trailer boys movies. He played the grim <laughs> reaper and bill and Ted. Oh um, yeah, um, um, oh, Sadler, William Demon Knight Bill Sadler, Sadler, Sadler William yeah. Sadler. So I thought the the main guy in this I was like, is that who Sadler? But it's it's not him. Uh, okay. Anyway, um, yeah. So Sam, what are you thinking? Uh, two right points. Back, I liked it. I'm gonna grab my wallet so I can buy Hawk the Slayer. I'll be right back. That's five points from us and two points from chat. That's gonna be seven points for Crawl. That. I guess Timmy picked, and now he's gone. Oh, Crow was submitted by Fudgy Stuff. Seven points. Um, yeah. Um, all right. I'm playing favorites here. I think it's probably pretty cheesy that I'm showing a trailer for something that one of the people from my comedy troupe made, but here we go. Ready? <laughs> I was looking at this one. That's all I needed. Two points. At the dawn of time, in a world of savage splendor, a tyrant of darkness ravaged the land and captured two defenseless children. This has been shot for Raised shot two points slave. so far. Trained as gladiators. It sure has. Only together could they defeat the evil <laughs> warlord. <laughs> they were rogues. Look at the size of you two. Adventurers. Heroes. They were the Barbarians. So Last Man Down is a sequel to this movie? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what are the part? No, I was going to say, I thought, I thought for a second you meant the Barbarian Brothers were in that movie. Fight or run. <laughs> run. The internationally renowned bad boys of bodybuilding, Peter and David Paul. Oh, get out of here, it's mine. No, get out. I'm going. I'm going. Go ahead. I love this. The still have the Brooklyn accents for this. Feel the power. Go ahead. Go ahead. I think did we watch that on self. Wait, their once names are David Paul and Peter Paul. Yeah. Which is why they went with the Barbarian Brothers for their professional mm. handle. <laughs> yeah. It's confusing. Are, are they twins? They're twins, right? They gotta be twins. Yeah, it's so confusing that there's twin brothers and they have like one of those last name, first names. It's so weird. The Barbarian Brothers, David, Peter, Paul. Wait, oh, isn't that okay. triplets? Wait, uh, <laughs> Where's confused. Mary? Puff the magic dragon. Um, yeah. I think when... Zach, Peter, it was, Paul and David. Yeah. It was right around this time. Uh, Zach, well, you know, the Barbarian trailer was going to come out. And I think on Self Suck, once we watched that instead. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely remember showing the poster, telling people we we're going to show the Barbarian poster. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, the great trailer. Have we seen that on the show? That was great. Then? I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think we've watched it. I think we might have watched it on, uh, Self suck, maybe. Yeah, I think well, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, I think so. Well, I give you it think two we've points. Seen it on here? I give I'm, it two points. I love the. Uh, I don't know if it was like a kind of New York accent, some somewhere East Coast, New England, New York kind of accent. Like, go ahead. And they're like, <laughs> what I love is like they, you know, they're big buff guys, and the trailer's like the most fierce of warriors and all that stuff. And then there's two different parts of the trailer where they're like, let's run away from this danger. 
<laughs> because it's like, like comedy stuff, right? Right. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Um, well, I think they liked that. They did DC Cab too. You know, I think they yeah. liked doing comedy. It's it's sort of the bad boys of bodybuilding. And if yeah, well, like, what? How do you get to be a bad boy of bodybuilding? Steroids? It's, yeah, it, that, man, it's they, so weird. They, they're assholes. Bodybuilding aren't was yeah. Bodybuilding was so uptight before they came through. Right. They're like bodybuilding. They don't want you to do steroids, but that's a positive spin. We did right. steroids, but we're the bad boys of bodybuilding. These guys that's only why. wax their dicks one time a week. They're bad boys. <laughs> Domino says one of them died recently, didn't they? Oh no, I'd be so sad. I think you're thinking of the singer of Typo Negative, but uh... <laughs> Timmy, you, you got to choose your battles. I mean, you can't be sad every time a barbarian brother dies, you know. Uh, okay, there's too many people in the world to be sad about, you know. All right, so which one should we be sad about, Peter or David? <laughs> All right, yeah. If it well, if it was what about Peter David who wrote the Incredible Hulk comics, anyway. If it was okay. Peter, if it was Peter Paul, you can be sad. He had the silliest name. Well, here's how I always tell when someone says an actor's dead. Here's my meter. The Wikipedia article, okay, if it says, it's going to say is or was. So Peter Paul is, so that's good. David Paul <gasps> was. David Paul died on March 2020. Fuck, did he die from COVID? Who cares? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I No, I get what you're saying. I but, only care about Peter Paul, okay? But, but, but there's, okay, but it's not, there's not only two answers. Ooh, it's, it's not either so sad. So R rated with 408 people right oh, when we're oh, laughing or we're mocking a man's death. Well, hey, let's talk about the movie Warrior instead. Let's give the whole plot synopsis <laughs> line by line for 12 hours. Let's do it. Um, thank you, Sir Lar. That's awesome. Uh, we are uh, watching trailers that are fantasy themed tonight. And uh, is the handle, is the website still, yeah, the website's still at the top of the screen. If you have a fantasy trailer you want to submit, it's miseryloves.us. It can so. be old, it can be new, uh, it just has to be fun. <laughs> yep. Silent Ally says, Welcome to Trailer Boys, where we mock dead muscle twins from the age. <laughs> <laughs> just one. Just yeah. one. Just, just so you know, uh, we were, you know, watching the trailer so, for The Barbarians, starring the Barbarian Brothers, mm -hmm. and someone informed us that one of them was dead. And oh. Timmy got sad. I thought it was funny that he died. I don't have a heart. They were in uh, deleted scenes from Natural Born Killers. That's yeah. fucking awesome. I, uh, that's actually a funny scene is is, is they do this interview where they're uh they're, they're apparently like mickey and mallory broke into their house and we're gonna kill them and we're chopping off their legs with a chainsaw and like I've in seen the middle that. of chopping off their legs with the chainsaw they recognized them and stopped and we were like they're like oh we're huge fans and <laughs> the barbarian brothers were like respected them <laughs> That's great. Uh, Lady Petunia says, not such a bad boy now, huh, you dead bitch? <laughs> uh, that's so bad. Uh, away Stork Away says, oh, yeah. so the remake will be called Barbarian, right? <laughs> hey, right now we've got 420 followers. Uh, anyway, or uh, oh, watchers. Oh, fucking. Oh. Doobs. Oh, guys. Uh, doobs of pot. Doobs of pot. Kiss little dicks. Kiss little dicks. Um, well, Chad gave that two points. I give it two. No problem. I give it two points also. That was two points. Through yeah, and I through. have to give it two points as well. Okay. Who, whose was that? Was that so Sam? Oh, that seven? Was yeah, that was me. Seven, seven for points. somebody. Seven for oh. Horny Baloney 69. Uh, that is not their name. Oh my God, yep. that's beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, we're getting there. Nate, you got one? Yes, I do. Do we need to do any Joel Edgerton movie talk now since we got rated before we start the show again? I just have a question. We really like talked about the whole plot of Barbarian. I don't know. No, not Barbarian. Think, uh, Warrior, Warrior. Or war, no, you guys warrior. talked about it for like a... You rewatch it and tell us if we lingered too I long. don't know. You talked about it for... I mean, am, I'm not you wrong. You talk it. about it for a while, though. I did watch it today. I, I think, skipped that part. Okay. I have a theory. I'll, I'll accept your I apology have a theory. In the What's your theory? 
is that we were talking about uh about dad yeah yeah who was who was in a a boxing match and we were yeah. talking about that and you thought we were talking about warrior the whole like more than we were because we were talking about this oh maybe. other boxing match but, and i ha- and, and you know i didn't want to come off like i wasn't uh uh, you know, jazz that the guy rated us for sure. But like, just suddenly we're watching this video, and I'm like, "What are we doing?" You know. So, but then, yeah. But there was <laughs> listen. The the warrior talk did go on for at least a few minutes. Watch it again. It's just funny because we <laughs> I don't we want get to. rated we get rated by a thousand people. We start talking about dad bot, and right away you're just disinterested want, talking about boxing so then bringing it back into the show sam brings up warrior the movie and you're just like and then the and, and then the edible kicks in <laughs> and you're just you're over it it's it funny because you can see it in your face when you're just like well and it's also <laughs> you know it's it's fun to make you look like a bad guy without context i get it but uh it was also the end of the night and we were almost done too you know what i mean so i'm not like, giving you shit we're gonna be done yeah, I'm not giving you uh, shit for it. You know how you say it. Anyway, so, I'm sorry if uh, I comes off like that. It just, I just, I just want to say to chat, I wish I could say this isn't what this show is. <laughs> it is what this show. Oh, that's what, yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, no, it's. Uh, but anyway, so my favorite part of Warrior. I'm just kidding. Uh, Nate, you Are you ready trailer? for a trailer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. Right. But hold on. <laughs> In a, man, oh in a Manhattan apartment, Dr. M. Tom Mordred has stood guard between our world and the dark dimensions. Now, after centuries of waiting, evil's ultimate warrior has arrived. Cabal is a demon who uses oh, I love that dude. Right. Awesome. What difference does it make if I want this dying planet? A sorcerer is not a god. It would be beyond the apocalypse. Our powers can be amusing. This man's gonna die. Dr. Mordred. Master of the unknown. Oh, too short, but that looked great. Uh, I want to say that I, I may know something about that. I think that was supposed to, like, I think that was built as a Doctor Strange film when they couldn't get the rights. There is a Doctor, there is like a 70s Doctor yeah, Strange yeah. film. But this is like a that 90s is- one, and I think, oh, go ahead, sorry. But like that is like straight up like has the characters and stuff. Right. Like yeah, and Doctor Strange has a mustache, right? I think he's got a mustache. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this is I I feel like it was intended to be. Yes, look at this. The film's produced by Charles Band. Uh, you know, obviously Full Moon. The bands which previously made successful B films, da like Robot Jocks and Reanimator, had used their influence to get a license to produce a Doctor Strange film from Marvel. Pre-production took long enough that by the start of production, the bands had lost the license. Rather than scrap what they'd done, they rebranded the film as Dr. Mordred. Wow. That's a horrible title. It really is. You can't Mordred. just call him Dr. Weird. I thought it was Dr. Yeah. Morbid, and I was like, that's pretty cool, Dr. Morbid. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's yeah. not. Mordred? Yeah, Mordred. And it does, it it's not very like it's, easy to say. It's, it sounds like, like, like it should be like Dr. Margaret. Like... Oh, dude, I would like, love to watch like a, a movie weird... where my daughter has spells and fights skeletons. <laughs> be great. I should tell her to do that. Stop going to school. I'm going to send you to Hollywood, and you're going to do this. Anyways, uh, but that trailer was great. Timmy, you should make more movies starring your daughter. You should make <laughs> Dr. Margaret. You should shoot that. If you shoot that and send me the footage, I will edit it. I will Thank do the you. effects. That'd be good. Wait, should I just shoot? I should do my own? Oh, my God. All right. Where I'm going to shoot a bunch of movies where she's one of the Avengers, and then eventually, you know, different solo films, and eventually they all come together. But you can still call it the MCU, the Margaret the... Cinematic Universe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<clears throat> what are you giving? I Dr. wish we could Mordred say that's not what this show is. Points. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, two points. Uh, that was great, man. There's lasers, Brian Thompson, uh, Jeffrey Combs, uh, skeleton fights. Come on. I loved it. Yeah, oh, two points. Away. It's the MCU. Oh, that's good, too. <laughs> Very good. Who said that? Uh, Always took away. Good job. Uh, I'm going to say um, I... Here we go. You know, I've given a bunch of two points tonight. I don't think this lands on the two points for me. Like, I was like, oh, interesting. But, like, at the same time, there was so much other shit that I'm like, you know, maybe if I saw this, it, the first trailer of the night, two points. But I don't yeah. think it uh, compares to other things we've watched. I've given two points. So I get it. I will give it one point. So that makes it uh, four points for us with the adjustment of the three-person show. Um. Wait, Sam so gave it one? No, no, Sam so yeah, gave it two. two points. I give, oh, you, we t- yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, and chat did what? Three? Chat has given it three points. A very strong three points here. Mm-hmm. So that is uh, uh, seven points. All our trailers are seven points tonight. This is going to be tough. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, this was submitted a few times, but it looks like Silent Tally gets this one. Nice. Um... I believe it's my turn. Yep, it is. Okay. I'm going to do... Man, there's some good ones. Which one is Jeffrey Combs? Jeffrey Combs is uh, is the... the He's Dr. Mordred, and he's from Reanimator. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's not a fantasy movie. Why'd that person submit that? Okay. Um, let's do this. This is a movie I've been meaning to watch for like decades and never got around to it. Doesn't mean I won't. A creature has been awakened that has lain dormant for millions of years. A species older than the dinosaurs and more terrifying than anything we could have imagined. Now, one will protect them. We have to hang on. Work together. And one will lead them. There's nothing magical about it. They're made of flesh and blood. You take out their heart, you bring down the beast. We found out where they started. We're going to London. Vertical one up. The plan is set. 1,600 yards, closing fast. The arsenal has been assembled. Get ready to rock and roll. Three chubbies! Go, 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 go! And they've got one chance to take back their world. Matthew McConaughey, Christian Bale, Rain of Fire. Jesus, that's a perfect length for a tra- for a movie like that. It's a perfect yeah, length would, trailer. You know, we've had a lot of minute long trailers tonight, and I wonder if for fantasy movies, do they do that to either a not give away all their effect shots, or b because they don't have very many effect shots? You know what I mean? Yeah, I um, yeah, I wonder. I've broken that button. I've hit it too many times. Um. <clears throat> I I, I really like that. I did mm-hmm. not know. I I thought this was just like a period movie, and I think I maybe get this confused with the movie where James Bond is the dragon voice, Dragonheart. Dragonheart. Yeah. So um, this looks dope. Uh, I remember the last one. <laughs> I remember a friend of mine was like, uh, I think it was either. I think what it was was for, when Braveheart came out. A friend of mine was like, Hey. My mom, she rented Braveheart and she has it like at my house. You're gonna come over and watch Braveheart. And I was like, Yeah, but that that like just came out in theaters. And he's like, Well, my mom has it. She rented it. And I was like, Yeah, in like eighth grade or seventh grade. And then I went over his place and he was like, Oh, it's Dragonheart. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh uh-uh. Um I this looked cool. I didn't realize it was kind of like a modern thing. I thought it would be like a period thing. Um and, and so is it like a split timeline where uh uh Batman is like in the past or something? No, or is Bat- no it's no. it's it's post apocalyptic. You know, and, and but talking the apocalypse about like, was dragons. 
the, the yeah. character design of Matthew McConaughey is yeah. awesome. Like the shaved yeah. head in the vest with like the um, shearling collar, like that's dope. And that that and scene at the very end where he's like, Hurrah! you know, yeah, that was that great. was well done. So, uh, like, I want to see this now. Yeah, it's so sure. funny. It's so funny to me where, where there's movies like this where, uh, you know, like you have modern weapons, you have rockets, and you have missiles, but it always seems to come down to a, like a big harpoon gun that doesn't yeah. exist. Yeah, always with stuff like this that. Big, like, even, even in Game of Thrones, they were like, what do we do about these dragons? And it took them six years to be like, harpoon guns. Yeah, one of those. Think, yeah, they, this does seem like a really good mid mid hunters one. Yeah, I one. agree with whoever somebody. Said submit that, it. Yeah. Somebody submit it. Uh, do you think ATATs were the dragons of Star Wars? Um. Well, uh, they did have a lot of big monsters. Uh, there actually is a Star Wars beast called a crate dragon, but that's just me being an insufferable Star Wars nerd. Uh, did it, I think sort of. Yeah, you know. Hey, do you guys want to? You guys want to? You guys want an idea? Do you guys want me to? throw down an idea i was just reminded Do it. of Do it. this could make any one of us a huge star oh, this would put any I one know. of us we could we could get this role and this would put us in the ranks of pablo pascal mm -hmm. of daisy ridley you know harrison ford we'd be guys for the next series that disney makes the rancor keeper <laughs> Any I, one of us I could think audition I could do it. for yeah. that. I think I could do it. We all yeah. could just be like, oh. Um, oh. I have really bad news for you, though. They're making it? No, but did you watch the Book of Boba Fett show? Uh, they, have, they have a Rancor Keeper on it. That show is not great, but they have a Rancor Keeper. There's only keeper one on Rancor Keeper? I'm no, sure don't, more let me finish the story. Keepers. Shut, Nate. <laughs> oh my God, I'm trying to explain this. I'm not trying to say shut up, but shut up, Nate. <laughs> okay, Danny, Danny Trejo is a rancor keeper in the Boba Fett show, uh -huh. and you know that takes place eight nine years after Return of the Jedi, so that guy's probably older and dead, but you could still play him, or you know, you do a prequel and have him. What was he doing during yeah. the rebellion? You Which, by the way, this is what I hate finding about. a rancor and training it and bonding with the rancor. Right. See, and this is what this is a part of the Star and you Wars find stuff that I hate. Floppy hat. Where they're like, yeah. how did the rancor keeper get his hat? You know, like in Solo, it's like, why does Chewie's bandolier look like that? Like they have a scene to explain it. Oh my god! You know, like that's the Star Wars shit I hate. Why could? It, why? Why isn't the rancor keeper wearing a shirt? Yeah. You know, and you know what they're so being, itchy. You know what you do, Sam? You have a really soulful, like emotional scene where the Rancor accidentally gets cut by like a mean human and it's bleeding, and the Rancor keeper, who's gonna become the Rancor Keeper, like really feels for him. So he takes off a shirt to make into a bandage for the Rancor. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, but that's the kind of shit they actually do sometimes for that. And stuff. the Rancor goes because like they subtitle the rancor in this and it goes sorry about your shirt and then the rancor keeper goes no worries it was itchy anyways <laughs> and then everyone's like oh that's why oh my god um what what's going on a uh, rain of fire uh i'll give it two points uh yeah i thought that was an easy two points that's i mean good. i thought it was a really fun you know, like just uh, dragons versus helicopters. Agreed. Um, that I, has given it two points. It's just shallow of three. It's at 70%. So that's, so that's seven uh, points. Five, to... six, no, six. Wait, six. Five, six, seven. Wait. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. You're right. Um, two principal roles. Um, I, I do eventually want to see that movie. Yeah. Is it my turn? Uh, yep. It is. Yes. Okay. Poop Riot said something really nice. They said, Timmy, if you were cold, I would stuff you in my tauntaun. Thank you. Three, two, one, go! You loved him in E.T. Now Did Henry we? Thomas is back yes. as Cody Walpole. There's no break! He made it! There's no break! 
Cody is an adventurer about to he discover died. the secret <laughs> of frog dreaming. Gaza, what do you know about a pond five miles east of Devil's Knob? Devil's Knob. <laughs> I want you to promise me you'll stay away from that pond. <laughs> Stop going to Satan's Knob. Some <laughs> 20 years, I was married to one. Thirsty <laughs> for the devil. Women are mean. Out of bed, don't you? Cody, just hang on. This is going too far. That thing could be a thousand feet deep if there's a bottom at all. I reckon I got about three minutes worth of air down there. Did they? Did Henry Ooh. Thomas move to Australia? This looks cool. Yeah, what's going on? Henry Thomas from E.T. is Cody Walpole, whose search for adventure takes you to the depths of a legend, the legend of frog dreaming. <laughs> That's a dumb name. It is weird. You know, <laughs> early that? 80s fantasy, you could just do fucking whatever as long as it had a couple of elements in it, you know? I, I, I just want to focus on this, this guy's mouth movement. Right, watch this. About to discover the secret of frog dreaming. Gaza, what do you know about a pond five miles east of Devil's Knob? I want you to promise me you'll stay away from that pond. <laughs> do you yeah. believe in monsters? He might have been dubbed over. They did that with Australians sometimes. What's this actor from? The redhead beard guy? Yeah, he's from like a, a an older movie. Frog dreaming is when you lick a toad, and Peter Griffin told us what happens when you lick a toad. Who's Peter Griffin? Do you mean Homer Simpson? The, he's the other Homer Simpson on that other show. Oh, this is also called The Quest. Oh, I've heard oh. of it as that name before. I've heard Quest. of it under that okay. name. Okay. Um, there's a Simpsons episode where he licked the frog. Stage name says red redhead beard guy was in The Godfather. Uh, um, I thought that trailer was all right. I'll give it one point. Everybody wants you guys to talk about Spielberg's Bullet remake, but I haven't heard anything about it. So, it's been it's so remaking long since I, that's Bullet, weird. like the Steve McQueen Bullet. I think so. Yeah. Dennis Miller is in Frog Dreaming. Interesting. What? Oh, apparently there's oh. also a Family Guy episode where they lick toads. So that's cool. I've seen that show. But, uh, uh, family Guy? Yeah. It's got to be a different Dennis Miller. I want to give Frog Dreaming one point because that part where he puts on like the diving suit and stuff like that. Yeah, that I was, was like, cool. That's cool. Um, and then I don't just think the jump off the cliff. Fantasy. Yeah, I I agree with Timmy there. Like, I thought it was a, a cool trailer. It, it felt a little off topic. It felt more adventure than it did fantasy. Yeah. Pookie Man says, wasn't the Quest of Van Damme movie? You're right. They can only give movies the same title once ever. Uh, the Van Damme, the Quest movie is pretty ridiculous and good. Uh, what is check of that one? Well, right now it's 50-50. Uh, 50 50 right now. So, and we still have like kind yeah. of a couple seconds left. Or you lock it in. So if anybody wants to vote either way, it's going to have big ramification. All right. It's going and people are throwing in their votes. It's up and down. It's back and forth. It's it's battling it out. It's leaning towards the S. <laughs> Man, a minute is long. Oh, yeah. Um, everybody like was not voting and like, oh shit, I really didn't like this. I need to vote. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the most votes we've ever had. It's so fucking hot in here. I'll be right back. Come back naked. Uh, and it gets 53% yes. That is two points. So, so uh, Timmy said he wasn't into four it. Points. I don't Did he give it points? I think we all gave it one point. Okay. That's four points. Did you pick that one? Yes. 
Okay. So and that's I'm four a... points from Voodoo Cowboy. Voodoo Cowboy. <clears throat> nice shirt, Nate. Thank you. Well, I misinterpreted the theme tonight. I thought the theme was a different kind of fantasy. And I was dressing in theme. Um, and so I really expected to see the movie Secretary or movies uh, along those lines mm. and did not see anything. And then when we were starting the show, I was like, oh, mm. I picked the wrong music. So I, then I had to really quickly change everything. <clears throat> you know, so there we go. Um, not much. Nate you guys ready for the next thought one? this was sexual fantasy. Oh. Oh, someone yeah, said Secretary is a great movie. Yes. Hey, Domino said that. We just agreed on something. Good job, everybody. Well, well I was saying they... that I assumed to see Secretary in the list because I thought that was the time of fantasies. Oh, yeah. You were telling me that earlier. Uh, Girl Kind of Grey had a good zing. You see that? Uh, they said, in a quotes, a minute is long. Every guy ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's about coming. Nice. 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 Okay. Uh, whose turn is it? Who, Fine. I'm who, ready. Oh, go for it, babe. Oh, fuck. Yeah. It's a fear. A fear that turns to horror. The irresistible vampire Lestat. Presence so powerful, it has awakened an ancient evil. Akasha, Queen of the Damned. It takes pleasure in only one thing destroying life, human and immortal alike. Let her come. Start. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I've come to give you the world. We are the powerful. We should walk fearless in the open. The start has joined with Akasha. He's lost to us now. Step aside. Never. Join me or die. It's like skinny puppy or something. All she wants is hell on earth. <laughs> That's Aaliyah, right? Fight a cash. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry, I was muted. Yeah, it is. I believe this came out posthumously. Ah. Is this is most Queen of the Damned. Oh. Come out, come out. Wherever you are. Wait. Is... I probably mentioned this on the stream before, but uh, Trevor had a videotape of me on September 11th when the Twin Towers were still <laughs> up. And the and uh, I had, he hadn't seen me yet, and the first thing I did was make an Aaliyah joke. Yep. I've heard about that. So... So, I'm the guy. <laughs> uh, oh, I see one that I think uh, needs to happen, and it is my Thomas Quentin says, in December 2002, 10 months after the film released, Alan Menzies, an obsessed fan from West Lothian, Scotland, who claimed to have seen it more than 100 times, killed his friend Thomas McKendrick and drank his blood. Holy shit. Oh. Huh. I'm going to say I think he went too far with this one. <laughs> Is that cosplay? Is that what he was doing? I think he uh, went a little overboard. Shit, man. I was going to watch a trailer and they, it's the wrong title. Like they put the wrong link in. Hey, if oh, you no. recently submitted a trailer and your username starts with an N, uh, you submitted the wrong thing, and I really wanted to watch the trailer for that one, given your context. So, uh, 
fucking get your life together. <laughs> what do we say? Read a book. Read a fucking book. You just tell people to submit this trailer based on the title of the movie. If someone else does it, then they win. Mm. So I should say the title of the movie? Yeah, uh, go for it. Okay. Well, Warriors of Virtue. Uh, so, anyways, Queen of the Damned, two points. That was ridiculous. <laughs> and Aaliyah. Yeah, there's a lot I liked about it. I'm going to say one point. I think this one also is a little off genre. A little bit. You know, uh, you know what? You are right. Uh, eh, my man. I mean, I, you, I, did, I didn't want to sway no, your but you, vote. Anyway, well, but, but you but are, just, but you are right. I mean, and, and listen, I'm not someone who thinks if they're, who automatically says it's vampire, it's not fantasy, because it is, but like, yeah, I mean, you know, it's not super duper fantasy, but I don't know. I, I still enjoy it. I'll, I'll stick with my two points. Yeah. I'll say this, um, cause I picked it as well. I was, I, I was like, Oh, I wouldn't really picture this, but I was hoping to see something more in, in the trailer that would like anchor it in fantasy more where I was like, Oh, maybe I didn't realize this, but you know, I, I didn't get that. I thought there'd be more like, Oh, and the wizards and, and shit like that. So, <clears throat> you know, I know it's in the same neighborhood, but I, I think the vibe is just slightly a step behind what we're doing. Yeah. So I'm also yeah. going to give it a point. Um, so three points from us. Uh, chat, uh, I think, was also not feeling it too well. And chat is giving it uh, one point. So that's four, so points four points going to Poop Tart. Pop Tart. <laughs> Poop Tart. I have Poop Riot and Pop Tart in my yeah. Marvel streams, and Makes I switch sense. up their names. So the person did get the right trailer submitted for the movie I wanted to watch. So good job. Thank you. Uh, here we go. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Right? Yeah. All right. To hang with us, you got to be initiated. One day, one ordinary kid will be transported. Come on! To an extraordinary world beyond the boundaries of imagination. <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 wait. You rewind it? What kind of psychopaths are those kids? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta walk above the, the whirlpool to on join the our, city pipe. To join like, our 12 year old gang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My thought was like. I really hope there's a scene after where he gets like he drops in and then the rest of them are like, Mom's gonna be so mad. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, oh no, so oh, don't get grounded. We should have just had him do the We should have just had to do the flaming poop bag like everybody else did. Uh, we should have just had him jump his bike off that mound of dirt. Oh <laughs> yeah. go down that it's big hill. Kids these days won't know the crazy shit we had to do as 90s kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. To hang with us, you got to be initiated. One day, one ordinary kid will be transported. Come on! To an extraordinary world beyond the boundaries <laughs> of imagination. It's, it's such a clear, it's bad crazy. idea. <laughs> That's me in the morning, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you have a boner on your shoulder? Cool. My hairy, my in hairy this tail. New world. Welcome to the other side. Oh, You're yes. Ruled by fear. Poop Riot, you couldn't be more wrong. No. Houston, they say? we have a problem. They said I'm picky about genres, and I would call this fit. I would call this adventure not fantasy. Now, this movie? Is no, this, like, this is, this what is, what is absolutely fantasy. The forces of nature. Poop Riot is just defending Blood Heart. Fire. Earth. Metal and is that Pat Morita? Now the battle like against the, the last ultimate one evil has come. The answer yeah. lies with you. And is about come. to begin. Come on. <laughs> and that guy is not the bad guy from Mission Impossible. Touchdown. Bye bye. 
is the CIA I can't oh, that them. guy. They need me here. You are invited to enter a remarkable world. Yes! Rock and roll! Where nature cowboy is your bebop? Rock or, or bebop but or rock you steady. are the ultimate warrior. <laughs> I said cowboy warrior. and bebop. Oh my god. You're so broken. Warriors of Virtue. Now that was directed by Ronnie Yu, I believe, who has a really interesting filmography. How so? Uh, so he's from China and he, or Hong Kong, and he did uh, you know, started out in the '80s, did some crime movies, some uh, uh, horror movies, did some Wuxia movies, you know, Crouching Tiger, Tiger Dragon, Hidden Dragon kind of movies, and then he came to America and he made uh, this. And then he came back and he made uh, Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky and then Freddy vs. Jason. And then he like went yeah. back and made more like uh, Asian uh, or like Chinese historical epic movies. Yeah, he's kind of all over the place. Anyways, uh, yes. He did Crouching yeah. Tiger, Hidden Dragon? No, no, he did no. not. But he did Wuxia oh. movies, which is the style that, uh, you know, they've been making those movies forever. But uh, Crouching Tiger kind of repopularized that kind of movie. And so he made some of those, too. But he made a fa- he made a famous one in the early 90s called Bride with the White Hair. I haven't seen it. But anyways. Yeah, I give it two points. No, Wuxia doesn't mean wire kung fu. A lot of them have wire kung fu, but Wuxia is like a swords and kind of um, fantasy-ish epic based on old Chinese mythology and stuff. I mean, they've been making it since before they could do wire fu. Um, Man of Spaceman says, I remember watching the trailer for this as a kid then being disappointed. Um, Does it not pay off on the promise of uh, kangaroo mayhem? What do you mean does it not pay off? Well, someone said it was disappointing. It kind of looks like uh, the movie's about a bunch of kangaroo ninjas and stuff. Does that not happen in the movie or what? I mean, that's what it looks like, yeah. Yeah, uh, it looks like it totally delivers. Yeah. So what would Unless you, give you it? watch it and the kid just wakes up after 10 minutes and it's a dream sequence and you're like, wait, the kangaroos don't actually talk or do karate and it's like no the regular gurus and it's just about a kid working at the zoo i'd give it two points i thought it was fun yeah me too the two points for sure so wait sam were you referencing kangaroo jack when you said that uh, it's right yeah sort of but uh snow dogs snow dogs too yeah they both did it fucking criminals they both did that yeah they um, should be, i'm gonna give it one point be shot okay so four from us and chat says split again. There's still two points right now, though. And two points for chat. So six or knock a mob. I think that's how you say their name. There you go. All right. This is my last yeah, one, guys. This be, one here. I'm starting to uh, run out of the juice here. We got 10, 15, 16. We've watched 16. So if we each do two, one more for each of you, then we're at 18. I think that's okay, right? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Ooh. Somewhere between her imagination and reality, there is a portal beyond which all of her dreams and all of her creations come to life. I don't even know where I am. Follow me. It's a gateway on which the whole world balances. From the imagination of the Jim Henson Company, the creators of the Dark Crystal and Labyrinth. You keep talking about a charm. What kind of a charm? It's the Did spellbinding on their work, of right? award-winning writer <laughs> and master storyteller, Neil Gaiman. They were like, have you seen Piss Christ? I was inspired to make a whole movie based on that. The directorial vision photo. of renowned <laughs> illustrator <laughs> Dave McKeon. That's the problem right there. Dave McKeon, his art looks like this. They're clearly trying to Come on, Maestro, this is a big finish. 
Experience an unforgettable journey through a world filled with magic, fantastic Fuck. creatures, and illusion. So many people told me to watch this. You should stop talking all of them. This looks like AI art. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny because Neil Gaiman's got, you know, he's pretty good at getting good adaptations of made of his stuff. But, uh, Mirror Mask. This must have been before that. It looks fucking gross. You yeah, know what? That makes terrible. sense why I didn't watch it because I really don't like Neil Gaiman. You know, I, I mean, I'm not a huge, huge guy for him, but uh, I love American Gods. I thought the book, uh, I haven't watched a show. The book Neverwhere is pretty good, and Coraline, the book and the movie are great. I haven't seen the Coraline movie, but the book is, I, th I thought it was pretty good. I was like, this yeah, is dude. a lot scarier for like a children's yeah, thing. Yeah, the movie is like um, that too. It's cool. Anansi Boys is like, I think, a sequel or prequel to uh, uh, it's like a spin American off. Gods. It's yeah, one of the guys from it, yeah. I just, I don't know. American Gods, the show is okay, but I didn't Did like, like the book. Did you like the book? You nah, didn't like I the didn't book? Like oh, I love nah. the book. I haven't seen Sandman yet, but I remember reading the comic and being like, eh. it was yeah. too goth. It was just too good um, for you. <laughs> I was just like, it's it just, I, 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 I was getting chills down my spine of how cringy and douchey it felt. You were, you didn't have a pack of clothes sitting around that you could smoke <laughs> while watching it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe a different time. Lydia Petunia says, I love how you're all yeah. pronouncing everything right now. I'm sorry. Lydia Petunia says, I love how you're all pronouncing everything wrong right now. Isn't it Neil Gaiman? They just said it in the trailer. What else are we mispronouncing? He did a great Norse mythology book. Absolutely. that, nor that His Norse mythology book fucking rules. What's that one called? Norse mythology. That's the name of the book? It seems yeah, pretty dude, low he effort. Well, <laughs> you're such a fire from the hip. Let's be cool. But what he did is he took Norse mythology and retold the story. So it is literally Norse mythology. So that's what you call it. It wasn't like his own novel. He every once in a while, they take those old mythology stories and like retranslate them and retell them. So that's what he did. It's great. It's oh, really good. So at this chat is saying it's pronounced Coraline. Oh, Coraline. OK. Coraline. Well, no, that's as lean as in the meat, like Coraline. Well, no, 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 other people Cora, are saying Coraline. Other people are saying I'm right. Corey and I know that Leanne. I'm right because I've seen the movie and they say Coraline in it. No, it's Corey Leanne. I think Sam's right. I think you pronounce it Geraldine. So his movie Geraldine is really good. Car Caroline? Oh, Caroline. Yes, it's Coraline. Carol okay. Cara Leone. I'm going to just uh, ban everybody. <laughs> Except me and Sam and Nate. We're fine. Uh, I am giving that. I, I don't know because it looks terrible, but also it's kind I mean, the trailer was crazy, too. It's like the whole thing about like let you watching that. And I know we watch trailers for a lot of stuff that's weird and low budget and low effort and whatever. And very misguided. We watch a lot of trailers for very misguided projects. But this one just seems so like. It just looks like like shit. Yeah. And it's kind of fascinates me. I don't know. I think I'll give it one point. What do you guys think? It really looks like it, it is fascinating. I you know, I was gonna give it no points, but it is fascinating, so I think I think I'll give it one point. Uh some guy it, just said vote you fuck to us. It looks like I, I, I timed him out. I timed him out. Fuck good. that. If I saw it. this if I saw this movie and you know I'm, I'm imagining I'm in the theaters I see this movie the lights come up and the person I'm with was like I loved that and then like my opinion of that person just plummets right totally <laughs> that's what it reminds me of Thomas uh, that's what it makes me thinking of Thomas Quentin yeah. says hot topic fantasy I don't know Thomas last time I went into hot topic there was more than one color in there and uh it was not yellow yeah um, so one point for, for me, Nate, how many points? Uh, zero. I was like, it looked annoying. I was like, and the trailer does not make me want to see it. Um, All right. What about chat? That is, uh, heavy in the no. It looks like it's one point from chat as well. So three total. So that's, <clears throat> oh yeah. Three. Wait. 
Oh, two. Uh, three from us. Oh, Nate gave it zero. No, Nate gave it zero. Oh, yeah. so okay, it is only two points. Someone says it's an Evanescence album in movie form. I think that makes sense. All right, mirror mask. Uh, Moon doggy. Mirror mask. Two points. Thank you for right. submitting. Yes, sorry we trashed it. I, What's that I, one glad, last I'm time that we, we watched fucking it? Tore to shreds. Was that last time or the week before? There was one last that time. We just like, we, I think there it was, was one of, Howl's moving Ponyo. No, it wasn't that one. It wasn't <laughs> that part. Uh, there was one because no, that kidding. was kind of a thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But there was one that we really were just like that sucked, and we all went off on how much it sucked. And then the person was like, "Dude, we were like, keep coming back. Thank you for coming. We're so sorry. We hated it. I can't remember what it was though." Uh, Nate, you you got one more? I do. All right. We are gathered here today to celebrate the life of a great man. I'll say right now, this is not where I expected this to go. Oh my god. <laughs> where am I? What is this place? Is that guy one of us? <laughs> so, welcome to hell. How is my motherland? This is uh, Mr. Judas. Dinosaur. Well, let me guess. Wait. You were one of those fools who thought you'd say the magic prayer, right? Can we finally quit this rat race and really take our time to serve the Lord? You accepted Jesus Christ by simply praying a prayer at some summer camp, and you thought your salvation was guaranteed. Yeah, that's what salvation is. I just received a fresh anointing from the Holy Ghost. There's a man of faith here tonight who will write me a check for $10,000 right now. And yet Jesus spoke more about hell than anyone else in the Bible. Did you know that 50% of Christians today do not believe in hell? Preaching about hell, that's old school fundamentalism. Hell is a real place, Shane. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 says to remember God before the silver cord is broken. Oh, wow. sick. Whoa. What a terrible Hitler. A long life to find yeah, I know. I mean, Hitler's I terrible. I'm just but... a filthy sinner. <laughs> no, this Hitler's worse than the real Hitler. <laughs> Shane, Shane, come on, man. Stay with us, buddy. You got this, man. Breathe. Come on, breathe. Breathe. Come on, Shane. Come on, Shane. Breathe, Shane. Yes. Come on, Shane. Keep oh, he smelled so much. Come. God, for your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you. I deserve hell, and I will praise you even here. I... It's unbelievable. He's alive. <sighs> he said that after all right? swallowing it's all that cum. You're talking crazy. Wait, well, no one just... was giving him CPR. Did they <laughs> they were just... Well, yeah, they didn't want their mouth full of cum. Uh, did they? Uh, did yeah, they... you're right, Butterfly Beulah. It's not that much cum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, um, did they just spoil the ending of the movie? <laughs> It's like and that looks like he came back from hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah they it did. does. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. that was uh, that, that was something. Yeah, that was like it's amazing when you can have someone doing the Hitler mustache and not look like Hitler at all. Like at like, all. <laughs> he, he had like long gray hair. He had like a what weird the fuck like. What's happening? He would, oh. he would have been a better Gaddafi than he would have been a Hitler. Yeah. Maybe maybe that that's what it was. It was Muammar Gaddafi with a Hitler mustache. Gaddafi and Hitler are in heaven fucking and producing offspring. It was a guy that died while wearing <laughs> Hitler costume. <laughs> and he was stuck like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, why did I end up in hell? They're like, you're Hitler. No, I'm not. Well, you were wearing this costume. <laughs> you were wearing this costume at a bar mitzvah, you asshole. He's like, I am an actor. 
And they were like, <laughs> oh, yeah, you definitely belong here. It's just him Viking. and like it's him and the guy from uh, Downfall and Inglorious Bastards and like it's just a bunch of people that have played Hitler. They're like, I know it sucks. They don't get it down here. <laughs> <laughs> they all, they think we're all fucking Hitler. How much like volume his hair has? Like, yeah, he's it looks got, like, like he has like curly hair. You know, he takes he takes good care of his hair. He was the only one to show up for the audition. Yeah. Abby <laughs> Sally says, you got I can't it. believe Abby Sally said, I can't believe I died right when I thrifted this sweet ass jacket. <laughs> it's like I was just trying on the jacket and the hat to see how it fit. I was gonna alter it. I was gonna take the arm pinned off and they get struck by lightning and now I'm in hell. Or or so like, says, oh sorry, go ahead. The idea that Hitler's wearing so much pleather. Yeah. <laughs> Oopsie so wallow. He's wearing like was Hitler like shopping at TJ Maxx? You know. <laughs> Oops, I swallowed a bug. Says I can't believe it's not Hitler. <laughs> also, it's funny that he has like Hitler's like Nazi soldiers because I feel like once you go to hell as a Nazi, you're like, "Fuck, I ended up here because I'm a Nazi, and I still yeah. gotta work for this guy." Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I get it. It was wrong. <laughs> oh, and Thomas Quinn's got a good point, too. What did that one T-Rex do? <laughs> yeah. Was there a T-Rex? I missed that. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. Hitler's That's that. funny. Yeah, dude. Oh, my God. It, and it Juggalos? Was right yeah, it was right before Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> Juggalos go to hell, too? Yeah, it was the... the what, what was that uh, wrestling team? The Legion of Doom? <laughs> Yeah, totally. Domino Sleet yeah. says all dinosaurs go to hell. <laughs> um, Man, yeah. there's a ton of Sting fans here. Sting the wrestler. Oh, well, I was going to say, if you like Sting solo music, I mean, I'm not against them being sent to hell. Uh, uh, that was good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Two points. Just for the amount we were able to riff off of it, I think it I feel like points. we've seen this one before, but I'm still it was so fun. Two yeah. points. And it and it had been so long, definitely enough. I like the whole thing of him having a rash guard through the entire time in hell. <laughs> you know, like he he, yeah. he died surfing, so he has to wear a rash guard in hell forever. Um I don't know. I liked it. Um <laughs> I thought that was a funny one. Um, yeah. Also, the Dale oh, says hit liar. <laughs> also, that weird church that like is like being poor is a sin. Like, yeah, that whole part's fun. You know, is it true that fifty percent of Christians don't believe in hell? Because I thought that was like I, one of the main things. If it's a fact <laughs> they stated in this movie, I doubt it's true. Yeah. Although I do think it's true that Jesus talks about hell a lot in the Bible. But uh, let me ask you a question. Do you think, you know, we watch a lot of these Christian movies, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think the Catholic Church makes movies? Uh, I don't I know. Think they, I'm pretty sure they made doubt. <laughs> no, I don't know. I think that. they I made seen it. They it's made about doubt, station, I think. And they spotlight. made spotlight. spotlight. Yeah, 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 they made spotlight, doubt, and sister act. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, oops, There's I swallowed a bug says, yes, but not the ones you watch in a theater. Well, oops, I swallowed a bug must live on a coast because over here, we do get those fucking faith-based movies every once in a while, and it sucks. Because it's like when my daughter and I wanted to go see the Dungeons and Dragons movie, it was like two weeks after it came out. Nope, it's already gone, so we could get some anti-abortion movie, you know. Well, I do feel the Sucks. need to point out that The Weekend Barbarian came out and was number one. It narrowly beat out a Kirk Cameron movie. Really? Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Cool. Uh, all right, let's, let's uh, uh, tally him. Yeah, do it. Two points so, for me. All right, and then chat did not like that, so chat only gave it yeah, one point. There are a bunch of um, fucking sticks in the mud. I, I bet, I bet it might be because we've seen that one before. I feel I don't like remember some of it, those... so maybe that was. I did have COVID though, so that was. Are you giving that two points as well, Sam? Because I'm giving it two. Yeah, points. I'm going to give it two points as well. So yeah, that's five so from us. That was. Okay. Shit, I lost it. Uh, dude wakes up. 
A dude wakes up in hell with small fires, which I thought was really funny how like barren hell was. Yeah, Nazis, it's a black floor with a couple T Rexes, religious and debates, like four people. Yeah. yeah, guys with face paint. Good news, everybody. Have Not wings. very many. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot he had wings. Dudes decide hell sucks and he's a sinner. Then he wakes up on the beach from almost drowning, praises Jesus, so we know exactly how it ends. Pretty sure the trailer lies about Jesus talking about hell a lot, but it's not like the Bible <laughs> says anything against lying. <laughs> so that was pretty Fine. good. Uh, that was like, from Nate, Rex they, Bosworth. Nate, there's the dinosaur, the T-Rex. Oh, yeah, oh, I missed that. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, it was with Judas. That's it's right. Judas, yeah. Yeah. Oh, because Judas had that pet dinosaur, and that's why. Oh, it's because it's because the dinosaurs are a lie. Right. I bet that is that, why. But if they're not real, how do they end up in hell? One, because the devil made them. Yeah. Or well, I mean, some people literally do really say God put the skeletons in the ground to test our faith in Him. Cool. <laughs> yeah, what the that fuck? Such a weird thing to say. <laughs> wow, God, you're really being a dick. Yeah, that's one of those things where, where when, when people say stuff like that, I'm like, so you believe in this guy and you worship him and you think other people should worship him and you believe that he's like fucking with us all the time and that yeah. doesn't make you want to stop worshiping him? Yeah, because and it's all because he's insecure. Yeah, I guess the same reason people like... <laughs> I guess the same people, uh, reason people voted for Trump, they're like, he's a big asshole. I like him. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay. He's just on. like me. He's yeah, stupid. He's, he's a dumb fucking piece of shit with no morals, just like me. Oh, we uh, got so many. Dumb pieces of uh, shit. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> we uh, do. Uh, yeah, uh, so you can sort by Whoops. points. Yeah, let me do that. Oh, yeah, Sorry. You want me to sort by points? Oh, you did? Or on my end, I did it. I don't know. Oh, I can't Maybe see it. Did. Oh, there we go. Now it's sorted. Okay, cool. Oh, my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sevens. And then three and an eight, eight, nines. That's ten. Woo-hoo. Can we, we do all ten? I mean, we could do all ten, or we could just oh, go with but... the top three, because there are three that are not okay. seven. Well, should we just do that, then? <laughs> I'll leave it up to you guys. I mean, the top three are all really good. Yeah, let's just do the top three. Okay. Yeah, we're kind of getting late anyway, so not laid, late. Uh, Maybe Sam's getting laid. Me and Nate aren't. Nate, I'm not trying to make assumptions. Says, oh, how do you pick true. your trailers, Exalvo? You submit them, and then we uh, uh, we have a list that you submit them to miseryloves.us, and we have a list, and we can see the name of the trailer, who submitted it, and uh, there's a context bubble when you fill it in. And so we can actually see if you say, like, here's what the movie is. And, and it can make us want to watch it a little bit more. Um, uh, and I will say, when not every, context is optional. But I personally don't choose trailers that don't have context. I, don't, I, I also do not play trailers that don't have it. Um, yeah, Oops, I uh, saw the bug says, have you guys done Zardoz? And I did see it submitted, but we I feel we watched it fairly recently, yeah. and I don't yeah, remember liking did. it. I thought it was yeah, kind of I, slow. I remember we thought it was a boring trailer. I remember that, too. I don't know what it would have been for, what the theme was. All right. So uh, is the poll up yet? The poll is up, but your head is kind of in the way of trying oh, to find it. Can you put it in front of us or something? Um, so I'm looking at, I was just kind of like snooping around at like cool boutique releases coming and Arrow Video is putting out something this summer that is a selection of films from Charles Band's first production company before he founded Full Moon. And it's got several, uh, Trailer Boys hits. It's got Arena, which might, did that win one night? Uh, I think I it, like did. it did. And that has a remake too. Um, oh wow! Okay. Which I have acquired. I think uh, Kellen Lutz and Samuel L. Jackson are in it. Oh wow! Um, wait, that's a remake of Arena. I knew about that I think movie. So. Cool. Uh, okay, then it also has uh, Dolls um, and the, a Dolls. movie called The Dungeon Master, which got submitted tonight, but I don't think we got to it. 
Um, Dolls is by Stuart Gordon, who did Reanimator and From Beyond. Um, Cellar Dweller, which I don't know of, but it's... Uh... Oh, and Robot Jocks, which I've always wanted to see and I've heard is actually terrific. That's a great trailer, actually. Robot Jocks? on here, yeah. But that actually, you know what? I think Panwall submitted Robot Jocks before the show was officially a show. I just remember seeing that and being like... Oh, cool. But they're doing this whole thing, and I don't know if it's going to be... They're going to do a series of box sets that are like focusing on these different weird little B movie production companies called Enter the Video Store. So the first one is about this about this company. It's called Empire or something, something Empire Pictures. It was Charles Band's thing. So let's Enter the Video Store Volume One. So I, I kind of excited to see what other companies they they're going to focus on. Yeah, uh, very probably cool. much is it. I don't Got know. What's uh sixty three bucks for yeah, what is it? Five, six movies and uh you know, obviously all redone and remastered and probably a ton of great special features too. One, two, three, four, five movies. Yeah. Um, and obviously the box looks fucking awesome. So, you know, that's a part of it for collectors too. So yeah. the box Arrow, is a... Arrow Sorry. kills it with box art. Yeah, dude, that Shawscope one I have is cool. Um, uh, Vinegar Syndrome, they don't do a ton of box sets, but they do um, just their their slip covers and cases for their movies are hard and thick and like really nice and awesome. Vinegar, they get they get a lot of weird movies that are like too like weird for me, you know? Like uh, they do a lot of like porn shit and just like kind of stuff that I don't know, whatever. But uh, hard and yeah, their packaging porn, porn is too weird for you, right? You you no, <laughs> no. you never look at porn. That's no, what I pay, that about you. paying for porn is too weird for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh but no, but but yeah, Arrow like, kills it, and this one is like the art is like a bunch of characters from the movies hanging out in front of an old video store. So that looks cool. Anyways, are we, are, oh, they're still voting, aren't they? Um, um, ooh, it's so what should we do? What should we do next week, Dave? I don't know. Uh, well, next we week do. is a holiday weekend. So <clears throat> do you think you're available or not available? I think I'm available. DJ are Sombrero. You? Oh, sorry. Go ahead, guys. I mean, are you available? Or no. Um, I mean if I if I go out of town, I'll bring my shit with me and I can I can come in remote regardless. And you know, sometimes that's, we've done these that's holiday what I do weekends on Mondays. I come in remote. <laughs> Hoop Riot um, says Sam looks like a guy who trades vintage Playboys. <laughs> I don't accurate. even think that sounds like an insult. That's so funny about Miss March. I, I, I never knew that about the rap gift with Miss March. Yeah, that's funny. Um, someone says, okay, DJ, DJ Sombrero says, hey, random question. Are any of y'all members of Brain Dead Monkeys? I can safely say no. I don't know what that means. Do you guys know mm. what that means? No. In that like us. four to eight? Oh, is that a, that's that NFT thing, right? All right. It's close right now. You want to get your votes in. It's uh, Boy God going up against Jason the Argonauts. Um, and I think we actually lock it down. I think five minutes have I th- passed. I think Boy God's going to win. Yeah, I think Starting Boy God away. wins by just and three it, votes. Uh, deserves it. And I'm surprised go. Journey to Hell didn't make it into the... People really didn't like Journey to Hell. I thought it was Oh, that's one. right. They didn't like it. I, I forgot that chat sometimes is just wildly wrong. <laughs> all right, wait. It's, correct. it's funny all right so uh for next week we could either do it's it's memorial day weekend right yep so we i i was thinking because boy god won we could do foreign films but maybe since it's memorial day weekend we should do patriotic films oh that's a great idea like patriotic propaganda or just general well, just, I think they're the same thing. <laughs> but yeah, patriotic movies. You know, well, like Pearl Harbor or Top Gun Maverick. I think those would both count, right? Or something, no, that, something that's rah rah America. Yeah, or the know? horror, the horror film uh, Uncle Sam. You know, like because that's got a lot of. Well, that's not 
thematically pro America, but it's got a lot of the imagery. <clears throat> we have done know. an America fuck yeah category in the past, but I think that was season one. Someone's saying war movies. Have you guys done that? But pr- we could say patriotic for any country. Okay. Oh. So how many so people you- are going to be funny and submit Triumph of the Will, do you think? What's Triumph uh, we- of the Will? Will have the will install? Yeah, yeah. We it's will the, we will be reading the titles of the trailers we submit and right. probably won't choose to watch Triumph of the Will on our right. channel. Yes. I will I, say uh, yeah. artistically it's pretty amazing. I uh, I watched it in a documentary class and obviously they were like I was in Brooklyn, you know, <laughs> like they're like, listen, we know you like, obviously no one's in favor of this, but it is important to kind of study this stuff and how, like how it was made and like how, and it is an extremely brainwashy movie. You've seen it, Nate? Yeah. Same it's in a crazy. documentary film class. Yeah. Yeah. That foot, the, the way they edit that thing is so it's like when you see someone get brainwashed in a movie like Clockwork Orange or something like. It, it might seem ridiculous. No, I mean, Triumph of the Will looks like that. It's like a shot of a happy family at a picnic, a shot of Nazi yeah. soldiers marching, a shot of flowers blooming, a shot of the Nazi flag. It's fucking crazy. You 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 bring that like you know people watch that and they feel something and they they you know it's it's very interesting like it's it's a beautiful film like the the diving the Olympic stuff when they're like going up in the air. Yeah, apart. yeah. Um, crazy man it's it looks amazing but then you're like man propaganda is a mind fuck like that really works well it's like uh you know uh i, 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 I appeared on this kid's horror podcast a couple weeks ago uh we were talking about halloween 3 it's a fun episode by the way check it out uh the best little horror house in philly is the name of the podcast anyways um but so you know we both have experience working in advertising we were talking about this kid and i and we we're talking about how uh there's people out there who think they should make their ads annoying and cause it works. And that what sucks is it does work, but it works in like this very cynical primordial thing where it's like a very annoying song or message, just like hijacks the chemicals in your brain so that you can't stop thinking about it. You know what I mean? And so it's a very, yes, it does work, but it's so shitty to do it. You know what I mean? Um, Whereas, and marketing like, and advertising has ad? the least amount of morals. Well, yeah, sure, but um, well, you know, in in the realm that I deal with it, and it's you know, it's mostly small local businesses, and for the most part, when I write an ad, it's like a sketch, you know. But um, but yeah, these guys that write like little, they just are like, oh, I want it to be obnoxious. Like, oh, it's like, oh my god, <laughs> I just hate that that's a thing, you know. Wait, are we being insensitive here? About what? Uh, well, I, I see. Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Hey, Bell, Bell's those in chat say that they get really upset about the the Ukraine Russia war, so they won't be joining. Uh, oh, am I, am I, wait, about patriotism? What are we talking about? Uh, about patriotism? Yeah, I think I think so. Andrew Demery says this offense. My dad actually killed a lot of people in Vietnam. Um, wait, uh, people don't like the patriotism theme or the war movie theme. Patriotism. Tanzig the elephant says now they're just being lame. Well, now I'm signing against well, that because they. Uh, well, yeah, but Tanzig didn't even use the fan. Exactly, Tanzig didn't even use the right form of there, so fuck that. I if people are uh, offensive about it, yeah, or uh, offended, I told. I mean, I get that patriotism is a weird fucking thing, and in our country I, right now, it's being used to hurt people. So I get it, you know. But uh, no, Belzo, you're not depressing us. You're bringing up an interesting. Yeah, yeah. Point. no, no. I just don't want to. I just want this to be fun, and exactly, if this isn't going to yeah. be fun then we can pick a new yeah. topic for christ's sakes well, what and about I, uh, I think that's fair. anti-war movies all right guys new topic more fun it's uh molestation there's got to be some kid diddler <laughs> somewhere in it catholic uh, movies no uh <laughs> well yeah 
Well, depending on who you ask, some people think everyone in Hollywood's a pedo, so you know, it could be anything. Um all right, I got a better, more fun topic. White savior movies. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, religious uh, movies. I mean, Solar Zensei says religious movies, but if you watch the show very often, that ends up being every night. So, <laughs> I mean, Summer- we could do four. Have we done foreign movies? I don't know. So, uh, I see some other good ideas. Summer camp movies. We Someone have not done pr- foreign movies. We prison have not movies. done summer camp. We have done prison. Uh, huge, a- who, huge asshole. Great name. Says Bechdel trailers, which is a funny idea. However, that would make that mean everybody has to watch their trailers to make sure, and people don't do that. Mythic says foreign movies suck. Mythic, you are a fount of opinions that uh, I don't want to just say they're bad. Like. But they're bad. Political movies. Political movies we have not done. Political movies. Oh, political movies. Yeah, that could be f- fun. Like, uh, what do you got? Wag the dog. You got Wag we, the dog. You got, uh, what's that don't one? Name that we, don't name them. Everyone uh, knows what a political uh, movie is. Andrew yeah. Debris says, let's not shoot down molestation so hastily. <laughs> <laughs> you always say that. Yeah, you so always weird. say that. I will say people have been asking for foreign films for a while. That has been I think you a regular request. I think you should do it because Mythic says foreign movies suck. They don't suck. <laughs> All the reading sucks, I guess. Yeah, I would guess you don't like Mythic. reading. Um, Here, here's the thing, though. Not all foreign films are not in English. There yeah, are man. foreign films that are in English. You know why? Because there's. Are you a shaking your called... head? Or are you like? Are you vibrating the table? Yeah, you're, um, you're like bouncing. I, I'm doing. I'm doing the the foot thing. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> STWS says foreign movies, but only from England. Yeah, because I would say Australia, but I mean, Mad Max is actually dubbed the original release of Mad Max because well, then, Mel Gibson and his buddies fucking Australian accents were so fucking thick. They're like, these guys are not going to understand what these guys are saying. Uh, guys, I got to go. I got to okay, go. So f- foreign films that we're doing. And, and, and I think this, foreign yes. films is fun. Would it be Michael foreign John language foreign, films? Foreign molestation movies, which that's the same. No, thing. Just foreign films, foreign films. Because okay. okay. there's a lot of English movies that like everyone knows. Dizzy Death says, Last okay. Tango in Paris ticks all those boxes. I think it's worth saying an American movie that it takes place in another Night country guys. is not a foreign film. <laughs> so, so the Bourne movies, right? Because he's like in Prague. Yeah. All right. Anyways, um, please same. define foreign well. A movie produced and made in a different, or uh, a movie made by uh, people from a different country. I mean, you know, right, Nate? I mean, what else, you know? It's James Bond a foreign film? Uh, well, first of all, I wish you guys were being more creative and like into just finding some actual you know movies from different places. But so the James Bond movies are produced by Eon, and I don't know if they're British or not. But I mean, obviously the property's British, but you know, I guess that would count. But I would hope people try a little harder than just show James Bond movies. You know, I can tell you right now. Well, I won't be. I probably won't be on that show, but uh, I'd skip over that shit. Yes, I also but if I, you know, the Broccoli family. That's right. The Broccoli family owns the Bond movies. Bra- Barbara Broccoli. Barbara Broccoli. Um, I Our feel spaghetti westerns foreign films. One hundred percent. Yes. Okay. They're shot in Italy and uh, Spain, and a lot of them are not shot in English. So. I was thinking foreign language films, but I guess that opens it up to a lot of other stuff. Foreign language films? Yeah, yeah, but I What's, guess. What do you mean? Like movies oh. in a foreign, not English? Yeah, then a lot of people complain because they might have to learn something. Um, I just love movies of all kinds. And when people immediately turn off just as the idea of foreign movies and start trying to find loopholes like James Bond, it's like, come on, you guys. If I can find something you didn't know I, about. I will say, know? like, for me personally, like, you know, I, I don't shy away from foreign films, but because I know I do have to read, if I'm not in the mood to pay attention, you know, then, like, if I'm kind of, like, half falling asleep and I'm like, I want to put a movie on while I crash out, not going to be a foreign film. Right. Yeah, I get it. Um, yeah. Uh, 
when I'm like, if I'm like, uh, yeah, super tired <laughs> or like, so you know, far to the side. What are you doing? I, I'm fucking tired and I'm all over the place. Get off my dick. Uh, <laughs> um, if I am like super tired or chewing a gummy, I might not want to read stuff. Foreign films are too stressful. Wow. I, you know, and I'm not trying to be a jerk. I just, I guess I just don't get it where it's like, I like to watch stuff and reading some words isn't a big deal to me. Um, no, I'm, I'm there with you. Count Pupper. Um, I'm definitely going to add Rain of Fire to our, uh, mid hunter polls one of these days. Timmy should jump on mid hunters one of these days, but, uh, um, I, I don't and think and we're going to be doing, don't think we're going to do frog cannibals or whatever that one was called. Oh yeah. Lou Reed says, but it doesn't come from America to me. I know. <laughs> Oh, Belzo. Yeah. Suzuki Western Yango. I almost went with that one. No mentions for four weeks. You've been four Andrew weeks. Demery, hold on. Let me, before I leave, uh, we're going to raid somebody or what, but we got to, yep, I got to raid queued up. But Andrew Demery says, are you accepting foreign film requests? That's not what this is. So uh, if you haven't done this before, Andrew, what it is, is there a, starting tomorrow, right? Nate tomorrow. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I, I can update it right You'll now. You'll be able too. to go to the website that's right above N N Nate's head, that URL, mm -hmm. miserylovesus and you find a trailer for a foreign film, and you submit it, and then uh, we might watch it during the show. That's that's the list that we went off of this time. So, um, uh, what, that's what you do, and I, as we always suggest, uh, watch the trailer to make sure that it's a good trailer. It's not too long, that the video and audio quality is good, and probably most importantly, you want to make sure that it's not going to go against terms of service of Twitch, meaning you don't want boobies in it or what else is a problem. Violence isn't really a problem, right? No, violence is not a problem so far. But titties and uh, like nudity stuff. Uh, problem, yes. <laughs> Andrew says, thanks, long-time self-suck fan, first-time trailer, boys enjoyer. Well, thank you. I like how he didn't call himself a fan of this yet. He's making sure, you know, give it a couple to make sure. I understand that. You're like All the VODs see. are up on YouTube, so you yeah, can Yeah, right, you can up. go to uh, youtube.com slash WKUKVODS uh, for WKUKVODs, and we're all, they're all up there. But anyways, uh, but yeah. um, Sam Have didn't answer the, the question. Void, yes. huh? um, Sam didn't answer the question because um, I know you haven't done like many uh, uh, holiday weekends with us, but uh, a lot of times on holiday weekends, like three day weekends, we have done the show on a Monday night. So Sam didn't answer what works for him. So I'm not exactly sure when the next show is going to be. Oh. I mean, <laughs> I could do Monday night. Probably yeah, Memorial I mean, it's Day. Possible. Then I could have a weekend. Um, but it, <laughs> Ms. Possible. Vicious says you have to understand the lore to call yourself a fan of Trailer Boys. Well, it's two brothers and an asshole, and uh, we watch. Well, not, you and I are Is brothers. That the lore? <laughs> We're not related, Timmy. You are a perfect human being. But plus Belzo, chat. I'm sorry I didn't choose choose your trailer. Oh, and the I Domino's kinda, uh, plus chat. Sure, whatever. <laughs> I, I didn't pick Belzo's trailers. I did see that one. I was like, maybe. You know, we'll say. I, I just wiped the the slate, but yep. man, the way Flanja does his context is perfect. Because it's a year runtime of the trailer right there in the context, and then like two lines, three lines of the trailer. Yeah, um, that that uh, make it interesting. We're like. I don't yeah, even know Flange what that is. is very good I, I want to watch that. So a few so people do it, uh, do very good ones. And so writing the context and yeah, telling us how long it is really helps Flan but Flan is on point. Somebody else is really good at that too. Is it Lobaka? Yeah. Somebody else does really good, uh, whatchamacallit, context. I uh, personally also like when I choose a person I, and, you know, somebody will submit like three or five trailers, I click mm -hmm. in the context and sometimes they'll be like, yes, if you watch yep. one of mine, this is Please the one. Please watch this one. This is yeah, my yeah, number yeah. one pick. Yep, that's always good too. Are we looking for specifically bad trailers or do you like good ones no, too? No, 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 no. <clears throat> uh, the trailers should just be, you, it should be something you find entertaining and, and, yeah. and the movie doesn't matter. You know, we don't, we do our best anyways, uh, and 99.9% .9 of the time it works. 
uh, we don't like include what we think about the movie, if it's good or not, in the trailer. It, it's all about does the trailer make us want to watch the movie? Is it entertaining? You know, so yeah, because some great movies have shit trailers. Mm-hmm. And Timmy, I, I don't know if you remember, we watched a trailer for a movie called Starleaf, and it was like a yes. dude with PTSD smokes this space weed and yeah, like, like alien weed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we watched that movie last week, and the trailer had all the best. Like the story the trailer was telling was far better than the story the movie told, and oh, it was good. one of those things where it was not great. Um, on the flip flop though, is we watched the tr- we watched the full movie for L.A. AIDS Stabber, which mm-hmm. was pretty entertaining. Um, I've and heard that. It was, it was a surprise, you know, um, and we had like some, we got some pretty good sound drops out of it. Oh, uh, I see. That was the ill-advised movie. Ill-advised? Is that, is that what, or not ill-advised, or like, uh, didn't age well or whatever? Is that what yeah, age jabber was yeah. from? I got AIDS. Cool. Um, okay. Uh, I should really go to bed. Uh, Zalvo says, Timmy's eyes, every time he blinks, take a little longer to open back up every time. Yeah, man. I feel like I'm Dougie Jones from Twin Peaks. I've been re rewatching it, and Kyle McLaughlin does such a good job at the... <clears throat> Lou Reed says, question, do you guys not choose stuff you've seen, or are you more likely to choose it? Um, I think... Either way. I, yeah, either way. I think Timmy will be like, I love this movie, I choose it. Generally, but I also I'm, watch stuff I don't know. You know, I'll yeah, do both. yeah. Generally, I I've been doing things on on random number generator, but today I was picking things. A lot of times, I'll pick something based on the context. So yeah. I go half and half. I think half the movies you saw tonight, I'm like, oh, I've seen this. I I have never seen the trip. Bula um, says I've been into Nigerian movies lately. I'll send you some for next week. That's we've perfect. seen Captain Alex a ton. Is um, that Nigerian? Is that isn't that from a different country? I don't know. Um, but I'm just saying like Captain Alex gets submitted a lot. Yeah. A lot. Um, Uganda. That's Uganda. That's right. Uganda. Cause didn't they call it, didn't somebody, they probably called that themselves. Cause those filmmakers are such great at, so great at promoting themselves. Oh, well, Hollywood. Cause it's, uh, uh, it's, that it's like Bollywood, but they call their studio work Hollywood and it's in Uganda. Yeah. I like it. I love it. Okay. Good night, man. I got to go. Are you going to uh, uh, raid somebody? Yeah, we got a raid queued up. Uh, probably a watch party raid. So in the theme, uh, uh, a member of Gooby Wood, uh, Count Pupper. All right, cool. I'm going to take off. Goodbye, guys. I love you guys. I love you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>